Good day, day, all creatures of wildest churn ratings, and welcome back to Kingdom of Aldana, where we learn that you should never stick your sword in crazy. Previously, in our session, <laughs> the Hearthstones have cleaned up the remaining undead forces and succeeded at reifying Zardas, sparking his unbeating heart to his own life. They healed up, as Zardas attempted to reconnect with the sword. Now, Reshaped, reforged together, all four blades. But, well, it seems the sword had its own agenda that it didn't quite agree with yours. The undead forces escape from the city, as necromancers previously under control of Barrow scrambled to survive after his death. And I am really bad writing summaries. Uh, Henry still also turned to Nebo, planning to turn over, or at least some of them, planning to turn over um, the blade to Lady Khazar for safekeeping, as you seem unwilling to fulfill her demand and provide the creature inside with the body. The feeling that this might be her last and only chance of. Securing any long term freedom, the Blood Princess, or Empress, I guess at this point, takes over Zardos and escapes in an attempt to find the body on her own. Charm Zardos and some of the Heron Stevens face off in the hospital ward. The scene is multiple beds with unconscious or weakened individuals opponent, Zardo standing next to one of them with a poor charm doctor next to him, as Trega, Laura and Ardes run into the room. Zardos, you feel control over your body returning. Not completely, but it's more like somebody's standing behind your back and watching you rather than controlling you. And you hear the Blood Empress speak. I suggest you get them off our backs if you want everybody to get out of here alive. Wait, what? Now, I think it's time to roll initiative Yet. No? So, Are you sure? Zardas, what is the first thing you're gonna do? Wait, we're in the room, right? Um, yes, you just rushed into the door and you're like staring at Zardas who is turning towards you as he stands in front of like a bed with a person lying in it. And then smiling doctor next to him. Well, not smiling, this is a very dreary situation. They are in a ward with uh, heavily sick patients, but. Oh, we're already in the room. Yes. Change some things. Yeah. Yes. I'm afraid they have found you. <laughs> who know? Who knew that locate object is one of the most OP spells here? I, I'm just gonna say it's like it's another discrimination on your mortality, um, because of your mortality status. Cause like. When Dragon Melora goes, hey, can we have like half an hour alone in our room without disturbance? Everybody's like, yeah, sure. And try to go as far away as possible to not hear it. But when Zardas goes, hey, I want some time alone. Nope. Nope. We, There's we a man walking into your bathroom. When Trigger and Melora go have their private time, they don't kill anyone in the process, I think. Neither does he. I hope. He, he might choke like snake, but that's the worst thing that happens. Alright, and what did she say again? So... Uh, he told you that if you would like everybody to survive this, you should try to talk your way out of this and get them off your back. Alright, uh, yeah, I'll just turn to them and say, like, Guys, what are you doing here? It's, it's a little odd. That's our question. What are you doing here? Take me a tour of the city. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. 
And now I guess I'll take a step over to closer to the side of the vent. You see Arles open his mouth and only pink bubbles float out of it <laughs> as you see him try to speak. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He, quick, he quickly notices, so he shuts his mouth again. Okay, that's aw- aw- awfully distracting. Like, what? <laughs> uh, yeah, that definitely ruins the train of thought. Um, quite a quite a I- intriguing place to go tour the city inside a hospital. Uh, oh, um, yeah. Well, you know, yes. Got to look around and see where you can help, right? Uh, it's, it's fine here. We can... Don't have to stay here. We'll get somewhere else. One nice little dialogue. Sure. Let's go. Um, I can show you lots of places in Nebo that are interesting i am from here after all that's right uh, i'm just gonna just taking a look at some of the people here seeing if there's anything i can do to help them before i left and just getting some information for later just see what can be done to help <coughs> okay i think it's better yeah <sighs> done chewing bubble gum how about you give us the sword? Uh, get out of here first. We can also get out of here first, yeah. I'm just saying, I think there was some kind of misunderstanding there. It's yeah, that's okay. In that case, we're leaving, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, the sword's fine. We talked it over. Things are okay now. It's not, not an issue, though. And I think it might be best if guys just go ahead and leave for now yeah yeah if you come with us and if you walk in front we can do that together yeah Mm -hmm. i'm just saying i think it might be a really good idea just to just just ignore this for the time it's nothing's happening nothing Mm -hmm. nothing weird nothing Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's weird and nothing's happening why don't you come with us Sure, sure. Just one second. Uh, we really need you back at Lady Kazar's. Lotus, you <clears throat> hear behind you. Uh, we're not going into that mansion. I don't think that's necessary. Um, at a glance, is there? Anything strapping the body to the bed or no? No, okay, just making sure. Why would there? I don't know if she's tied down or something. Just sort of restrained. I, I wanted to check. I will reach and slowly. Reach a hand towards towards it. Uh, excuse me. I think uh, that is uh, where I would. He yeah, isn't doing that's... anything. He isn't doing anything yet. I, I, he's reaching I... a hand for it. Sure. No, he's not searching for the sword as far No, as he's reaching for the body. Yeah, for a body. Huh? That's worse. It's just as bad. That's worse, yeah. yeah, I was, yeah you don't want him here. Yeah, just... Yeah, this lady here seems to have some... How about you take a step away from her and don't touch her? Comes she artist, and I, and I, She's definitely not consenting, you know? I'm gonna go up to him and, and like, take his hand and start yeah. trying to pull him, walk him out of the hospital. How close do you walk up to him? I hold, I hold his hand. I'm trying to hold his hand. Trigger needed to make me a wisdom saving throw. Sure. Step into my aura. This is the danger. <laughs> 18. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not done. We're not done. It's a 21. Mm-hmm. Do I know that something tried to do something to me? Uh, what do you mean? Since I had to roll a save? 
Uh, do you have something you would like to do about it? No, I'm asking if tr in character does Trego know that something just no fishy happened. Okay. No. Yeah. So no. So I try and grab uh, Zardus and start uh, grab his hand and like you know walk walk him out. Yeah, I'll just take a step back. Look, this really isn't necessary. I think it's just safe. Come, come now. Let's go. We can uh, talk about moment. it later. Oh, great. Oh, fucking great. And this situation is over. Okay. Uh... So, yeah. I guess uh, I stay there and just hold your hand. <laughs> uh -oh, I go? Are we leaving now? Zardas? Drago, could you help him? Help him what? Leave? That's funny. Um, yeah, let's go. And I leave Zardus' hand. No, not you, Zardus. Oh. oh no. Oh, fucking no, not again. Can I mentally ask the Empress, I guess? Uh... If I can lose them and come back without, I can kind of lead them away and then rush back here for this. Uh, here. I don't have to come back, but get them off us. Or. Get closer to them. I'll make them accommodating. Oh yeah, 27 in that case. Okay, sure, I'll... Hmm. I'll step away from the bed and towards the rest of the group. Sure, we can. Yeah. You already do what you were coming here to do? She no, but... no, but it's, it's, it's fine. I would like to tell if he's lying, honestly. Mm, I guess make an inside check. I guess. That is one roll something against that. I'm not sure if you're lying or not. Persuasion, deception, what are you rolling? Yes. Intimidation. I get What were you lying again about again? Everything's fine. Oh, it's... right. I guess that part. <laughs> so I don't get the idea that she got what she wanted already. Um oh. let's see. Um I mean I Yes, based on this, you're pretty sure that everything is not fine? Mm. 
Uh, not fine. It's so fucking broad. Holy shit. Yeah, what I mean, the, but you're like mind reading. Yeah, like, yeah, I know. What is he lying about? Like he doesn't seem to be very happy about you calling him away from here. But uh... well, in any case, uh, here's a few places you can go. I spout out a few places in Evo, and you know, you're just ready to come back and. Uh, that's it. Have fun. Yeah, let's leave. Go on ahead, Sardos. Come on. Oh, I meant like if he wanted to go alone. Why would he yeah, want to go alone, like, Tago? Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, he said before. I'd like to check out some of the tourist spots around here. Um, let me quickly check something. Don't know why I would anyone for a hospital, but hey, now that you're you've got a few tour tipping points, uh, you're good to go. I would like to um, check Trego with uh, Arcane Dominion. Uh, sure. What the hell is that? I don't remember how it works. Well. Um... Choose. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think it applies, huh? Yeah. You can see. I always thought it was. Is this, this dash get changed? Probably not. Okay, never mind. There is nothing to do ever. Um, ah, too risky. Yeah, so I'll walk towards the towards the door with the, everyone else. Right. Towards everyone. Uh, Melora, you've been awfully quiet. Anything you wanna add or do? He's close to us, right? Well, I mean, he's coming close, I assume. Based on what he's saying, yeah. Yes. I know what I want to do. I'm just trying to think of. Trying to think of how I could do it without getting. Hmm. I want to wait until he's closer to us, and once he is in reaching distance, I'm going to brush up against him, and I want to cast Greater Resto. If you do that, that's gonna be a wrong know. initiative. On me or on Zardos? Oh, on Zardos. Oh, well, yeah. Um... Yeah, I'll lose on that. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just going with the flow. I I don't... I'll wait until we actually get into initiative. Right. I'm probably by now, like, right next to you guys. I left Zardos. Let's go. Yeah. After you. Yeah, I guess Trego starts walking out. I will wait for Zardo, Zardos to start walking out. I will... Start walking, but as I do, mentally towards the Empress. You know, it doesn't. Things don't have to go this way. I think there's some kind of misunderstanding going on. Oh, I'm sure there's no misunderstanding in what they want you to do. Yeah, and we can talk that out. This won't lead anywhere good for anyone. Especially you. I don't want to see see you locked up again. Just... If I wanted them dead, they would have already been dead. What do you want? Freedom. Finally. You have that. Just stay 
with me. You have that. We will make things work. It'll be fine. Make me persuasion or deception roll based on what you're doing. Not bad. Fine. It will be easier to gain this if we don't have to find them. But we're not taking a step closer to that woman's house. I will not become one of her toys to be clogged down. Don't have to worry about that. I will keep that from happening. At this point, I don't know. I'm too sure the whole body thing will happen, but I'll take care of it. That's the important part. And I will continue walking. Alright. Hmm. Uh, Argus, Melora, you just follow him out of the hospital. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The doctor goes, uh, what about your offer of help? Uh, yeah, sorry, something came up. Oh. Oh, that's a pity. <laughs> yeah, how are you planning to help? Can you cure you? Can you heal? Mm. Just taking a look, seeing something might be able to be done. Hmm, okay. Well, now I feel bad leaving. I, if you guys want to go back, I can stay and help. I think we have something more important right now. Do you uh, know? Like I said, everything with the sword is fine. It was a little bit of a freak out, but yeah, it's like. Cool. You disappearing when you were told not to. Yeah, that. Like I said, it's a little bit of a freak you, you, out. Because... You you can see how uh, one might get the wrong idea from that after what we were planning and what um, that thing there likes to do. Yes, and we don't have to worry about the the body okay. thing anymore. Ah, oh, that's it's... good. Wait, why? Like I said, it was good. She Just has what she wants? But no, no. Everything's fine. Is he lying? I don't know! That was tell us! <laughs> like, well, I wish she... I had the gaming powers in real life! I don't! As far as I know, she doesn't have a body. I think she's not... I think I've talked her out of it. I don't know for sure. So in that case, now I have, I get the feeling she hasn't gotten a body yet, so I feel pretty good about this situation right here as we're walking on out. Yeah, as you're watching it, Zardos like, 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 in, in, like in that game, does she have a body, Zardos like, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So, in that case, just to ease all of our minds, you could, um... Just put uh, the sword in the back of holding, yeah? And we can go wherever you want it to go. And then we can return to Lady Khazar for our lessons until the key is done and we don't need to really worry about anything anymore, do we? Well, I'm just saying, if we... I think everything is fine now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she... I agree. She's uninterested and she's... Afraid of being imprisoned again, does not want to go back to his office. And we, I don't think we need to. I think it's okay. I think everything's fine. Okay, I can promise that we, I will not take her to Khazar. That's fine. But I would like, in exchange, for you to put her into the bag of holding. Why the quote unquote? Well, it feels weird to talk about a sword as a her. That's the only thing. To put the sword into the bag of holding. 
you know, middle ground. We don't take her to Khazar. And on the opposite end of the spectrum, um, we don't need to worry about you having her in your hands. I'm, by the way, I'm lying. Out of character, I am lying as fuck if you need a deception check. The DM power. <laughs> well, roll deception just... check just to see how believable it is. Um, do I have luck left? I do not have luck left. I will use Tides of Chaos on this. Oh, these shit rolls. God damn it. 21. Huh? How does the Empress feel about what he said? Fuck no. <laughs> That's probably a fuck no. Good. It will change nothing. Okay. Sure. I will hold open the bag. And get you're trying. sure about this, and I'll. Yep. Okay. Yep. I'll put it in the bag. Sort in the bag. Kind of like put this one in the bag and let go, and just like pfft, disappears. And the bag seems as empty as it always has been. You know the others that uh, once it's in the bag of holding, you cannot summon this ward because it's technically on a different plane of existence. But you still feel her presence. Okay, okay. this is uh, this is okay now. So if she doesn't want to go there, how are we going to talk to Khazar? Because we might still need to. Also, can you, since this seems somewhat diffused now, can, I think Leos is still looking for us. Can you uh, send him a message as to where we are? Didn't they send Melora a message and she said we're in the hospital of this and that? I think that was Lady Khazar who sent her a message. Yeah, it was. Mm. Okay. But um, if that's the case, then he's probably on his way here. We might want to wait for him to discuss this. Speaking of which, what is Leo's doing? The last thing you were present at is Lady Kazar trying to do a scrying ritual, which, as you know, takes quite a while, and then failing to find Zardos. I remember... Maybe I'm misremembering that... Um... There was a sending between Melora yes, and Lady Kazar. Well. Yes. And uh, once <clears throat> Lady Kazar told Leos, told me that uh, they're going uh, at the hospital, I cast flying on myself to get there as fast as possible. All right, that part I did forget. Okay, flight, 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 flight. Make me a uh, investigation charisma check. Oh, that would be investigation charisma check would be my persuasion check, so I'll use that. <laughs> Thirty one. <laughs> Alright. So you persuade yourself to find the hospital in the shortest time possible. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's, it's like Leo's was like, alright, so I'm pretty sure the hospital is like five steps away from Lady Kazar's mansion, and the hospital is like, <laughs> no, I'm like half an hour away, and it's like, are you sure, buddy? The hospital's like, now they're just saying <laughs> I'm not sure. What is I'll get place? closer, okay. <laughs> I mean, depending on what geometry we're talking about, you know? In some dimensions, I'm everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and then the hospital uses that cliched paper, pen, wormhole explanation. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, yeah, Julius, you basically like like somebody very quickly who explains you how to get to the hospital because you've never been there. And you're right there on your way. Um... Question. Is invisibility yeah. forbidden in Nibble? Um, technically, it, no. But you might 
I have to explain yourself if someone were yes. to. Yes. Hmm. Okay. If somebody, not just the, the big no-nos are the mind manipulation stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I I know, but, but I remember that it's mm. everything that can be used for trickery. Yeah. And. All invisibility is certainly on the hey, I'm going to rub some people. In, in, invisibility is gonna be along the lines of like, hey, why are you <clears throat> uh, sitting in the city plaza flower bed in a ghillie suit? <laughs> it's like, you're not doing anything illegal, but I'm pretty sure the cops are gonna ask you that question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If they see uh, you. Well, I'm gonna stay visible for now. <clears throat> and fly to the hospital and be on the lookout for uh, Heron's Talon. Right, no, that's gonna take a little bit, a little bit of time. Uh, so, as the rest of Talons, um, Zardo seems to be cooperating. Mm -hmm. uh, we're out of the hospital. Where do you, you want to go? Uh, how about we wait for out here for Leo? So how about uh, since he isn't here, had you check in with him, Zardos? Send them oh, a right. message. Yeah. Well, sure. But we're waiting outside of the hospital. Yeah, I'll just send Leo some message. Let him know we're at the front door of the hospital. Why did you <clears> run <throat> away? <laughs> Is it possible to inside check a message as a sending? <laughs> uh, Why would he no. say? Yes, come into my trap. <laughs> yeah, they're all dead. I just need you. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure I could take you. Uh, <laughs> take him where? To... Downtown, to the paradise. To the game bar! To... <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Zara <laughs> uh, says you are. Yes, you have expanded that spell. You kind of feel um, a femoral touch on your shoulder. Here, this will help us if something goes wrong. Do you have any... What's your current highest spell slot left? Six. Do you have it? Yep. How many do you have? Just one. And one out of one or one out of two? Yeah, one out of one. And fifths? Uh, I have two of those, but only have one left. You regain a fifth level spell slot. Uh, she's trying to bargain her way out of this. We already lost. She has Trego there. We already lost. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> There's no winning what? here. If she has you, we already lost. Is what I'm saying. Only Melora has me. Uh huh. Doesn't feel that way. Oh. Are you saying I'm cheating? Not intentionally, but yes. Well, in that case, you'll be cheating with Sardos. I guess you can't see me, but I'm giving a thumbs up. Hey! I'm not sure that's gonna work. I mean, depends on what base you wanna get to. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we are, we are waiting for Leos' response. <laughs> We're waiting out here. Alright, yeah, Leos. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say I'm coming. He's on his way. Excellent, excellent. You're not well, gonna inside check that? Actually, I would, yes. <laughs> Let's see if he's lying. But, uh. Good. 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 Okay, this is very comfortable. I mean, not so bad. You still feel her now that the sword is gone? Or are we good? I mean. It's <laughs> a strange question. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I mean, swords in the bag and feelings and 
to me. Same difference? I suppose. I mean, it's nothing unusual. Okay. Okay. I think we are waiting for Leos huh? out here. I am also waiting for Leos. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. Waiting for something special to happen. Uh, Alright, so you chill out for like five minutes in the middle of a busy street, looking like, like you look. Or you. Notice, well, some of you notice Ardis and Zarus just staring at each other. They don't notice anything, they're in their own world. But the rest of you notice uh, Leo's kind of like hovering towards you at a moderate pace. Well, well, well. Hello. 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 There. We've got the sword in the bag. <laughs> it's in the bag. But uh, Zardas does not want to go back to Lady Khazars. Is what the deal was as we <clears> take <throat> the sword into the bag. But Zardas does not want to go back there. We don't have to go there. We just have to go to some other place for 24 hours and wait there. Why? Well, what's, well, what's the plan? Don't you know the deal with magical weapons? They lose the grip on you after 24 hours or something? It's not a thing? Can we just wait it out? I've never heard of that before. I don't know if that works. Maybe? Uh, let's make that a kind of check. Is that actually common knowledge? Yeah, that's why I'm thinking to make that a kind of check. Well, uh, while I check uh, the rules, that it's actually a thing. It, it is a thing. I'm yeah. Uh, it's actually a nineteen. I rolled with, uh, with, with. Uh, talk to myself on, but it's up to you. Let me screen shot. Can I? Oh yeah, it's visible here. Uh, screen shot to. There you go. Oh, there it is. Uh, bum. Yeah. Um. Huh? Mm. Well, I guess with the nineteen, you would know it here. Yeah. Okay. So where are we going? Well, there's a nice volcano. <laughs> go, go, go there. I don't think any of that's I mean, there's I also like a really nice restaurant, like a step away, called Mickey's D's. I mean, would it be nice though, or is it just okay if you're, you know, middle of the night? Like I said, everything's fine. We don't have to worry about the sword. It's under control. Yeah, we were just a little worried when, like, Leos came out and said, like, Zardus is gone. And, like, he's all right, out all right, all, all right, all right. Let's leave the city for now and talk about this properly without all this in between the lines bullshit let's be honest here let's get the fuck out of here and talk uh sure okay and we'll get a bit of distance to civilization all right okay good 
Let's leave the city. <clears throat> like, by foot? No, by our... Yeah, it's like peasants? Huh. Yeah, we haven't done that I'm... in a while. I mean, we can fly. I don't care. Okay. Uh, I might attract some by attention. Nebo trebuchet or something. Yeah, I let's, mean, let's, honestly, let's just can't. walk it off. Yeah, let's let's walk. Okay. <clears throat> I'm surprised to hear that from you. Yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, we're walking off out of the city. Huh? Ah. <clears throat> As they went to McDonald's. What? They went what? <laughs> to McDonald's, he said. Oh, nice. Uh, dope. Let's go to Max. <gasps> uh, we're walking out of the city? Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, sure. This seems fine. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I mean, we should probably let Lady Kazan know that we are not gonna be coming back today. Um, do we have any option left to actually just... Well, are we going to the volcano? No, no, just outside of the city, so we okay. can have a frank conversation. Okay, yeah, sure, yeah, let's go. Without uh, people listening in. All right. So I guess you just look at each other suspiciously as you, without a word, take like the 13 minute trip yeah, out of I'm the city. Gonna, I'm going to pay very, very close attention to uh, Zardos getting closer to people. I generally keep an eye on Zardos, and whenever he does anything, just watch out for suspicious behavior, like uh, getting far too close to people. Okay, make me perception shooting check. Out. Make me perception check. I'm going to chill on the carpet, like some ten feet above the party. Perception. I'm very good at this. God fucking damn it! It's see. talk to myself again. It's an eight. It's bad. Okay. I I'm gonna trust you on that one, unless it's a seven. Let <laughs> <laughs> uh, me screenshot it. Zardos, please make me suspicious behavior check. As in, roll me charisma check. Sure. Huh? He doesn't seem to be engaged in any kind of. I mean, he is suspicious because he's Zardos, but nothing more suspicious than you would expect from a guy with like five swords. Mm. Well, for now, I think. <laughs> the amount has greatly been reduced. <laughs> yeah, it feels weird. Down the sword. Don't make it. Uh, Alright, so you continue just like sucking and kind of watching each other while like Trigger talks your way through the... Uh, checkpoint. And you get through the gate and start <clears throat> marching, I guess, away from the city. Yeah. Yeah, like another half an hour. Okay. By now, so, yeah. you're, you're actually going to be in quite a crowd. Because it's late in the evening and people are leaving the city. Oh, some people are leaving. Can we can we uh, walk get off the road and just walk like into the field? Um, you'd have to walk quite a bit away from Neba to or a field to be a thing. Uh, what's outside okay. of Nebo? Is it like slums. Uh, like hmm? farms? Slums. Ah, so. Well, I don't mind walking. Yeah, let's keep going. Let's just not get too close to people. That would be good. Right? 
mean, I can understand the suspicion, but I don't think it's necessary. We were just worried just... about you. I mean, I'm fine. There's nothing wrong here. What about you, Trego? What do you think we should do with the sword? Mm -hmm. I mean, when Kazar gets, uh, when Kazar is unoccupied and she can talk to us, then we can talk to her about it. Okay. Wasn't that the plan before? No, we'll first talk amongst ourselves. Yeah, let's wait it out. Any input from Melora? I'm Melora is just exchanging glances between all of them. They're all acting weird. Um, I, I guess, yeah, I guess, yeah. Uh, all right. So, just in that case, it's gonna be more like. Uh, how far can you go? Uh, I'll uh, say... I guess after like, yeah, like half an hour walking, you're gonna get through the slums and then you will be able to like get off the road and actually work into like, not walk, not work, but walk into like a farm field or something, which... Thankfully by now it's about 6 in the evening, which considering the time of year, I'm pretty sure it's dark outside. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure like start of February it's gonna be dark. <coughs> Actually, okay. um, let me check. This might be important. For the purpose of light. Uh, let me check. Um, Nebos. Um, is it longitude or latitude? I don't remember. I think it's latitude. Like horizontal. Yes, I think that's latitude. Yes, yes. Longitude is. Yeah. That specifies the east-west position. Um, yeah, the sun hasn't set quite yet, but the sun is basically like on the last leg, <clears> going <throat> behind the horizon. Uh, so right. you have like maybe um, like forty minutes of daylight, and it's like deep daylight. All right. In case we so, want to have a shadow blade duel. <laughs> no one, no one's in uh, like. Uh, sight, right? Or earshot? Um, in sight, yes, there's still like cars passing by on the road, which is like, I don't know, 200 meters away, if you walked into the field. And there's uh, farmhouses, and other like couple hundred meters away. Yeah, okay. uh, if you want to go like into an actual open, open field, you'll need to walk for another half an hour. But, well, you see it's close to Neba, it's very dense. But at least, like, the farmer hasn't noticed you yet. He hasn't come out shouting what you're doing in his field. Okay. And thankfully, we're not in America, so he won't have a shotgun. And <laughs> yeah, that's All good right. for him, yes. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. So, the sword is obviously fucking with you. The sword wants oh, wow. to fuck him, but it needs a body for that. Or do you have any other reasonable explanation why you were running into a hospital? Okay, yeah. like I said, it's, it's a bit of a bit of a freak out, you know, as someone would do with the threat of being locked away again for okay. hundreds, so, of Well, we weren't threatening you, so you're saying you were um, not in control. For a moment, no, but everything's. Back under control, everything's fine, things have been calmed down. Alright. And she's relaxed. So, your sword. It's. What? Supposed to be some sort of vampire queen? Is that correct? 
Uh, yes, as far as I know, the... Um, what's, her, what's her plan when she gets back, when she f gets a body? Build up, rebuild that empire? Enslave humans and humanoids as their pets and their water bottles? Uh, Zarus, you are technically, and not technically, but you're absolutely wrong. It's not the Vampire Queen. She was used to kill the Vampire Queen and she has memories. Yeah. At least that's okay. what she told you. So I have to now say that? Then. It's... Yeah, because I was thinking it was a remnant of the Vampire Queen. Yeah. No. She was. So she... The sword was basically stabbed into the Vampire Queen and then she was sealed in the tomb and spent thousands of years. Okay. Alright. Why was she sealed away? If she was merely the weapon to kill a vampire queen, why was she sealed away? But she was sealed with the body, right? Or why? the sword itself. Yeah. And like this war didn't regain like sentence until long into the confinement. Like it's not like it was a sentence for that was used to kill her. Or became a sentence after. Yeah, yeah, it was just I guess they stabbed her with the sword and just left the sword in her as they yeah. sealed the so, body. I'm wondering then, Is that really the sword? Or is that a remnant of that vampire queen that's trying to persuade her way out of your sheath? I mean, she's told me some... She's told me somewhat of the old vampire society. Yeah, yeah, she told you. But... You know, I have told many stories. And approximately 5% of them were true. And that was also a lie. It's far less than that. Maybe it's more. Who knows? Is there a way that... Okay, so we assume that she is some sort of being. A weapon that has been used to kill a vampire that now has become sentient and now wants to have a body. Because she wants to live. Yeah, like Pinocchio. Who the fuck is Pinocchio? Uh, just as an old member. Okay. It's a wood elven story. tale about an awakened bush. That a wanted. wood elven tale? Yes. <laughs> about uh, an awakened bush looks... that wants to become a real boy. Okay. I mean, I think, she, like I said, I think I managed to talk her out of the, the body thing and she's okay with just staying this way. I think. And that is the truth? And you know that, that that is the truth? As far as I know. As far as you know. She's, yes. She's okay. is talked, her, way... talked her down and. Is there a way we can fact-proof that? Can we put you in the zone of truth, let her speak through you, and see if she's telling the truth? I suppose we can try. Jergo, can you, can you cast the zone of truth? Not today. Ah. I mean, I'm okay with letting you guys speak directly to her, if that old ease your conscience and let you relax yeah. a little bit. How would we do that? I mean, well, I can... I guess I'll be translating for her if, since I don't think she can... And then it's uh, us trying to read you, not us trying to read her. Well, if you guys give her a body, then you could talk to her. Look. If... She is good. I have absolutely no trouble of giving her a body so she can live a life. I can imagine must have been quite the fucking shit show to be used to stab a vampire queen and then be imprisoned with their body for thousands of years, only to be found by you, wielded around, and then ultimately denied being denied a body to live a life. I understand yes. that prison sucks, ass, dirty, hobo ass, 
but I am not going to let out any remnant of the Vampire Queen that yeah. we can't control. That's understandable. Also, also, let's think about the kind of powers um, that she has granted you and your brothers. They feel much more reminiscent of uh, whatever vampire remnant that might be than anything else. Not of a slayer of vampires, but one itself. Exactly. Well, well that's the thing. I mean, she's mentioned before, of, you know, how the old vampire societies have functioned. And, and while part of her seems like she wants to possibly do something similar or maybe something different i don't remember but the point is i <laughs> so you I mean I there might be some vampire there in the mix you don't remember exactly if she is good yeah. or bad oh no just me the player can't remember oh which okay. way she wanted to, to go with it i thought that wasn't character yeah. but gen essentially i as i told her when we started this whole thing that i didn't want to fully commit to killing my siblings. I didn't want to go along these darker lines. And I am trying to keep her from going down the same dark path that led to those ancient vampires being destroyed. Trying to move her on, make sure that she doesn't, doesn't do any of that and thinks that she can actually do something different. Move towards a better future didn't have much much luck convincing my family not to be assholes but thinking maybe i can do it here you know the well, weird part for me is like the change of heart from when she rejected you to yeah let's get rid of her let's see what lady kazar can imprison her let's throw her down her volcano to where we are standing right now doesn't really convince me that you are speaking on your own accord as far as I know, I am. Can I ask? <laughs> Suspicious as fuck. What was her reaction when you kept trying to persuade her to go down the other path? Well, I haven't had too much... Too many conversations in that just yet. Hoping that was the whole... Trying to get her to not want to do things this way was essentially the last conversation we had before we, when I tried to reattune, trying to let her know that I didn't want, that while she considered me not killing my siblings a failure, I don't, because I don't want her to go down that path of enjoying things like this. Hoping she's listening. Well, so I have a bit of trust issues. She could have at any point made a case trying to argue that. She's not evil, but uh, she would follow the path of good, but talk about being imprisoned. But instead, she, based on what I can gather on what you said, she made you go into the city to find a body that she can take over. Like I said, it was a quick so, freak out hearing about being in prison. She just yeah, lost a quick the first freak out that is punishable by punishable by death in Nebo. Hey, I I freaked out and stabbed a person. Oops. Hey, just Aris freaked go. out and killed himself. <laughs> well, there's no death sentence on suicide in Nebo, right? Yes, there is. <laughs> the punishment is death. <laughs> no, there as long as that's only for suicide, not suicide attempts, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, 
I mean, like, generally the other person is around to press charges. But... Well, you can hopefully see, and by you I mean also your lady friend, can see our conundrum about letting her roam free. There are too many indications that there is some vampiric influence in there and then this is going to be a f huge fucking revival party of an ancient era once we let her roam free. And uh, we already have shit on our plate that we have to eat and I don't like shit. Especially not eating shit. And if you like, I can try to see if maybe I can give her control for a while and let her talk to you directly. I don't know if it's possible. We can try. I would prefer that in the zone of truth. I'm, I'm out of spell slots today. I wonder, would Awaken maybe give the sword sentient to where it could speak to us, do you think? So awesome. And then we, we the sword in the zone of truth, but she doesn't take control of Zardos again. If we really want to test her. Everybody's Googling Awaken. Yep. We don't even have the components for it. I don't know I why don't. we're Googling it. It works on um, beasts and plants. Yeah. Oh, okay. And the target <laughs> must have an intelligence score of three or less. So even if I allowed it to work on a sword, the sword is already basically awake. Not all sentient weapons can communicate. Or communicate easily. I, that might be on the, the better path. Except maybe Kazar has some kind of, I don't know, doll sitting around she can stick the sword in and let her talk that way. <laughs> From what I recall, that... she doesn't want to go there, so... Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm, honestly, I'm happy to, to give whatever is in that sword a fair chance to negotiate for its life outside of imprisonment. But if it's something that we are destined to kill, I will have to say that we're at an impasse. I would definitely like to avoid that. I mean, being in prison for so long and only knowing the memories of this ancient asshole vampire and not getting to... There's Make this, you. yeah, about that. I'm wondering if someone only has the memories of someone arguably evil, will they become them? If that's the only memories they have. What if they only feel distant because they have been magically transformed into the weapon and it's literally the process of the vampire becoming the sword that gave her that feeling of, oh, these are actually not my memories. And actually they are. I have absolutely no fucking reason to tr place any trust in the words of the sword that can talk and manipulate and control you and do absolutely anything with your body without you having a chance to counteract. Understandable. Yeah. Well, it's very reasonable thoughts. I'd yeah. like to. I would like to say that hopefully it's the sword has learned learned some things outside of those old memories. But at the same time, it reinforced the sword we we're with my siblings. So how about um, I get her out for you and you ask her? Hey, what? I mean, don't you need to ask her? Don't you need to sort for that? No. Mm -hmm. Sure. I would like to tell oh her she's fucking lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I would like to, to see that as well. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> Good luck with your plus zero. <laughs> oh, this is bad. I think you get the feeling that you do not need... That he does not need the sword out of the bag to come uh, again. You know, the feeling you get is basically... Um, He's not being aware if you say it, so that's what you get. Take it how you want. Uh, so I'm also wondering... Is that Zardas talking, or is it Zardas influenced by the sword talking? And that's where my 24-hour time window comes oh, in shit. again. Because right now he sounds very cooperative, but I don't know if it's really you, Zardas, talking, or it's the sword pretending to be you. I mean, if it possesses you, it doesn't necessarily have to suddenly have their own, its own voice. It's probably just going to sound exactly like you do sound now. Jay, you should do a better job of hiding that you're reading from the script I sent you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very, very elaborate script, holy shit. It's holding up. <laughs> so, the only option I see is that we all are going back to Lady Kazar's place. We will place you and the sword into confinement until we have a solution of having a very, very honest discussion with all participants, where we can be sure that Zardas talks for himself, that the sword talks for itself. And if we can't do that, well, I think imprisonment for the sword, it will be. Well, can we have the conversation with Lady Kazar without going into her place? Because so she's a little worried about stepping into the area. Why? It's, it's an old prison. She doesn't trust that it will, won't happen. Uh, because you can teleport in there and fuck out, right? I think... I think the place might, I think Lady Kazar's place is a solid option. Why? I mean, you think that Zardas is not talking for himself, right? Well, I don't know. That's the problem. It sounds then how, like. Then how would you know? That's where Lady Kazar comes in and she helps us finding out. Where we can have a nice long rest, figure sh things out, so we don't have to escalate another thing and come up with a peaceful solution. I am not willing to even give a chance to some undead evil creature to sneak its way out of the sword into the free world so we just have to deal with another creature down the line that is here behind the shoulder a exasperated sign and her voice going see how they are quick to judge can you imagine yeah. how they would have spoken if I had told you that I am a slain angel, trapped in a blade? I bet you they would have scrambled to help you free me. That's how far truth gets me. It's a misunderstanding, we will solve it. You don't have to... Like I said, they are a paranoid bunch. It's human nature. Just give him a little time, a little effort, and... You do hear fun. him talking to himself. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. We are a paranoid bunch. And rightfully so. 
with all the yeah. stuff. Yeah. That... No. Oh, he's, he was frozen in a laugh. Yeah. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was being frozen. Uh... Yeah, Jay was like frozen like this, like. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, she's a little paranoid. That's. She thinks this is going to go wrong for her, and I'm just oh, trying to... Oh, are you talking about us, or her, or all of us? I'm well, this all point paranoid? At this point, it kind of seems like it's, there's a lot of tension going on, and I'm just trying to calm things down, so there's nothing going on. What's out there when it comes to getting rid of people being influenced by others? I mean, I have some stuff. So there's not on, she's not controlling me, she's just talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. I'm just attached to you like a parasite. Would I would I know any way of getting rid of the effect that Zardos might be under from my perspective? Make me another kind of check. What, what did you want to say, Jesse? Um, I was wondering if maybe Dream might work and allow us to talk to her while she's, I don't know whether it would be attached to Zardos. We Dream Zardos and we could maybe talk to her. It might work. Well, in a dream, you don't know if someone's telling the truth or not. Wait, did you take out the sword? Or is it still hmm? in the bag? The sword is still in the bag. I did not touch it. And he just talked to her. Yes. Yeah, I think that also answered our question, right? Alias, I mean, judged on what Kairos did to your comrades, you would assume this is some kind of a charm, and the charm technically can be removed with greater restoration. So that should be. I think that Special. could work, yeah. Also, calm emotions would technically work on a charm. Although it wouldn't remove it, it would only suppress it. That's a spell? That's a spell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a spell that nobody yep. takes because yeah. it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's too situational. situational. Yeah. I can, yeah, I can see it being exist. taken on a cleric because clerics can prepare spells, but on a bard and a known class, eh, I wouldn't take yeah. it. It's fun. <sighs> yeah. Well, There would be a way to find out if Zardas is actually just trying to be diplomatic right here, or if she's making Zardas talk the worst that she wants to wants us to hear. I mean, outside of a couple of instances of just wanting to do what she does with the, the blood, she hasn't really done anything evil. Oh. Oh. What 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 has she done? She she sucks the blood out of your enemies that you have struck so, down. Yeah, so this enemies. Whole this whole yeah. situation is just you know making the group suspicious of these artists. So if we can dis disarm this charm or whatever that everyone's talking about, then we will be suspicious of of you. We'll still. Maybe the sort of. Oh, give me a moment. Like some people feel a little bit robot to me. Let me try and jump us to Russia. Because little... hello. Um, yeah, there's little. Because Trego's occasionally being a bit robot. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah I heard that too. for me as well. All right, let's go with this. Should I repeat or? Uh... Repeat your last thing. I said uh, the group is suspicious of Zardos. Uh, so by. Uh, disarming this charm or whatever on you, Zardos, then the group will no longer be suspicious of you. Well, yeah, I understand that you guys have seen a lot, done a lot, and 
Yeah, so understand. you would be willing that we... As long as it helps prove that she is innocent and just looking to be proven, you know, helpful and not evil. She's just misunderstood, not evil. All right. Uh, I reach into my bag and I take out a scroll of uh, Greater Restoration and hand it over to Melora. Why can't he use it? I'm gonna... <laughs> uh, Mm. Okay. So, uh, Laura, you could, you can cast that on Zardos. We could try to sever the connection. And then also, <laughs> suddenly you oh, no. hear Leos becoming possessed. We're suspicious of Leos. <laughs> Sucked into another dimension. No, oh, come sorry. back. Sorry, I, uh, no, I, I accidentally switched to another uh, setting of my uh, voice program. <laughs> of his 500 Leo microphone started, settings. Yeah. Leo started slipping into another dimension. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I completely forgot I, what I wanted to say. Uh, yeah, and also, oh yeah, right. We sever the connection, we give it another 24 hours, just to be sure that there is, has been a healthy amount of uh, separation between Zardos and the sword, and then we have a frank conversation somehow. Here's the thing, though. Can Zardos... Well, actually, I'm sorry, I should have asked you. Zardos, do you think you can still communicate with her when you're... Or she can communicate to us when you're no longer connected to the sword? I'm not sure about that. I don't... Unless there's some way to talk with something inside of a weapon. I don't think it really matters. The thing is, right now we don't know who's talking, really. We can assume oh, so. it's mostly Zardas, but we don't know. If we establish this uh, difference, if we manage to sever that connection, and you still use the same words, then, reconnect then, we, and then, we, can... then we can actually discuss about However, what she's problem. planning for. The thing is, if we assume that Zardas is talking right now and he's telling the truth, it might be the truth that he thinks is you the know. truth. It doesn't necessarily have to be her truth. I agree, but it's still the first step is that we need to establish that Sardas is talking independently. Even if it may only be his truth and not her truth. Yeah. I mean, he could reattune to the sword if we can't talk to her without it. Alright. And Melora will hold her hand out to Sardos. Are you ready? Said, if this will help prove her innocence, then yes. Uh, just, just so there's no biting going on, I trust you that you won't do that. But I'm oh. going to use my action to summon my uh, bow, and I will go uh, ten feet away from him. I'm going to go really close to Melora and Zardas, just in case, to break it up if something happens. I love them both. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, it's just precaution. I'm pretty sure I don't have to use it, but just stand there. Yes, yes, it's gonna be feel, feel super silly about this later. It's completely unnecessary. Yeah, I love to feel silly about this situation. Here, Zardos, put this apple on your head. <laughs> Zardos, here. Yes, just a precaution. That's what they say every time they put collars on their slaves. I'll let you have this. Thank you, Will. 
Get this sorted out, and we'll be fine. They're not doing quite a good job of it. I know. It's, they're, as you know, they're super suspicious of everything. It's okay. We hear that. Are right? we still hearing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Just give it a chance. Yes, screw it. We're doing this my way. Understood. Understood. Just trust me; it'll be fine. My way will work. I'll take Melora's hand. All right, and I will use the scroll to cast um, Greater Resto. And God, do we want charm or the attuned thing? I'm gonna say charmed. Taken. I'm gonna choose the charm effect. All right. Uh, you cast a spell. The scroll disintegrates in your hands. Sardas, you still feeling a presence? Someone talking in your ear that you feel the need to respond to? Uh, do I? Uh, make me a self insight check. Can oh, I no. assist him on that? <laughs> oh, oh, no. No. <laughs> no, he must oh, search no. himself. Oh no, minus one. Oh no. Oh, I roll. You're pretty sure you're alone. I think it's gone. Don't feel anything. Alright, then let's go back to Lady Kazar's home and... talk about options. Just to... Just to not, you know... So that we know that her op her opinion is not to go back there, at least not to be imprisoned again. I'll make sure that that's well known. Oh, just because we're in a house doesn't mean that she's imprisoned. That is a decision that we will do at a later point. But right now, I'm fucking tired. And we have probably still a lot to discuss with Lady Kazar. And I'm pretty sure she will have an opinion on this whole thing as well. So right now, if you are not compromised in just going back into that house, then we will just go back into that house. Well, sure, we can head back. But we'll sell. At the very least, if we go back, I'll be standing outside outside the front door for a little bit before we're actually going in. No, we'll just go in there. I'm just saying that's what I'm thinking internally, not really saying. Hmm. Oh, God. Walk back to that. I don't feel like being a very considerable host to that creature or that being, let's call it a being, I don't know what it is. I want to make sure that you get out of this alive and that we don't unleash another Oko. That's understandable. As I said, we can walk back. Let's do that. Okay, so we're walking back. Yeah. Zardos, do you mind yep. if we ask Lady Kazar to lock you in for the night in the room? I guess. It seems like a lot. But I guess. Dude, I'm just, I'm just considering this as safety for you. Imagine if she does manipulate you again, if we didn't sever the connection, and she just makes you walk out and kill a city guard. Hmm. Then Did you she are... manipulate you? I mean, she got me out of the house last time, but Ooh. I didn't kill anyone. Yeah. Yeah, that's very good. At least that much. 
she wasn't looking to kill anyone. She was just looking for something, even someone about to die anyway to get a button. She wasn't so going to probably die. still kill them. So that's why you went to the hospital. It wasn't to kill. It's basically giving the... We're going to... You, did, you didn't want to see the city at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, buddy. Uh, oh, Trigger. Oh, buddy. Uh, I, I love Nebo. I thought you were okay. interested in it, too. Yeah, no one gives a shit about Nebo here. Um, um, I guess well, it was just a momentary freak out. She didn't think she had any other options. Yeah, just yeah, think. I totally... I, I do get that, but the thing, the thing is... Have you ever heard about a body containing more than one soul? Um, I guess hello. Well, it, it, it's not. It's like a magical thing controlling your body. It's she's not really in your body, right? Because then, prob maybe our spell didn't have any effect, and we're she still listens in on absolutely fucking everything that we're saying. That means I can still not trust you. Yeah, we don't. Sure. How about we ask Lady Kazar about this part? I mean, quite honestly, we can have this conversation outside of Lady Kazar's place, like in the garden or in front of it. Could so we are conforming to some of what she wanted, which was not to go back there. And then we can see what Lady Khazar thinks, and then we can go on with it, whatever it is. Why not call Lady Khazar here? Instead of going through the city and, you know... I, th I think... Uh, I, the mean, I mean, you go, go ahead to and the try... Mountain. To, yeah, yeah, You try luck. to convince her to, to, to walk out of, uh, out of here. She has other things. She's probably still working on the key, and this is just a lot of inconvenience for her. I say we go to her and <sighs> Yeah, let's let's go outside the Sunset Palace. Yeah. I will I'm start okay. floating ahead on the carpet until we get to the border where Trego needs to talk to people again. Yeah. yeah. Uh by now it's become completely dark. I will turn on my lights. Yeah. Which kind of looks spooky. The flying. <laughs> so it's just like flying. I, I don't mind. Flying light. I mean, you don't care about any so of course you don't mind. Uh, That's correct, yes. You are, how do you call them? Chaotic selfish? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, I guess you make it back to the gates and Treg uh, gets it back in and then you start walking through the city, back to the Sunset Palace, at which point it becomes even later. Uh, like, the sky is completely dark, late, and the streets of Nebo are illuminated, so that's not a problem and there are still quite a lot of people outside, like, not crowd but enough people walking around just having fun going to different dining places um, as always you get into the better parts of town and becomes quieter um, after a while you do find yourself standing in front of uh, the sunset pellets outer wall yes and is this where you try to weasel your call. way into breaking the agreement, or no, you I'll just go break it? Kazara. I'll just go into the mansion and call Lady Kazara to outside of the mansion, and I'll explain why it's outside of the mansion. Uh, you guys take it. Yep. I go ahead. Explain to her. Oh, 
Yeah, so uh, apparently Zardas' sword like kind of manipulated him or, or, you know, took control of him and made him go out of the mansion because the sword is kind of afraid of the mansion and she's looking for a body. So they went to the hospital, which I thought at the beginning they wanted to tour the city, but no, she just wanted the body that of, of a person that's almost dying. Uh, we managed to stop them, I guess, and then we went out of Nepo. Anyways, yeah, we need to we need your opinion on all things magical and how to deal with it. And that's why uh, we agreed to not go into the mansion. So yeah. Also, Malara cast uh, Greater Restoration to break the charm that the sword had on him. Uh, and the sword is in the bag of holding currently. But he still was able to talk to him, even though it was in the bag of holding, so... Yeah. She nods. Starts walking out. I go with her. She casts Meteor Strike as soon as she sees Zardos. <laughs> Update something. Uh, all right, yeah. Uh, so let Kazar start walking out of the house, and Trevi actually like have to walk pretty fast to catch up with her, uh, and. Uh, she follows you into the garden and sees the rest of you standing in front of her gate and beelines for the gate. And... And as she's getting closer to the party you see her starting to cast a spell. Anybody wants to do something? No, I trust Kazar. My parents were here. I mean, my mom was here for a long time. I trust Kazar. Uh, I'm just going to take like one step back away from Zardos. <laughs> Aris? I'm up in the air. Let's see what happens. I'm not counterspelling. Yeah, I'm seeing... Staying off to the side, just watching. That is. Oh um, wait, what's going on here? Why? Why? This, this, Lady Kazar, what are you doing? Let right. us make me a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, actually, I'm not sure you need to go there. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> I think we were this before. <laughs> Got it. Right. <laughs> Got it. Good you roll. <laughs> Your muscles seize up and you find yourself unable to move or talk or really do anything. As Lady Kazar holds out her hand, maintaining the spell and walks the remaining seventy feet towards the party. Oof. Drastic measures. Is that part entirely necessary? Yes. Okay. Now, we ha big question. Are you going to off him or do I have to do this? We're not killing him. Is that the only way? Leos! <laughs> Based on what he has said, she points to Trego. He might be contaminated beyond recovery. We cannot risk this if we are to go into our battle. What do you mean contaminated beyond repair? He wasn't attuned to the sword when, when we won uh, Baros. You said he spoke to it after you cast Greater Restoration. No, no, not after. It was um, when the sword was taken away, he was still speaking to her. 
But uh, then, uh, since Restoration was cast, he has not spoken to it, from what we could tell. And you can hear him if he answers it. And he didn't, yet. No, not after, but before. Even though before, the weapon... Yes, before, even though the weapon was missing, he was able to talk to her. Since Restoration, no. Well, what we know assurances of. do you have that he is merely charmed and not possessed? We have none. Zero, um, but can we get rid of... any means of getting rid of that? I have to take magic and cleansing touch. Would that help? Is it like a curse? Can it be removed like a curse? No. Are... What oh, ways yeah. are there to drive out possession? Are there any? To kill the host. Question. If we kill him and bring him back, will that just start over the same play? I don't know. Mm, if we wait till tomorrow, I have geese, I guess. And dispel magic, of course. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're beyond dispel magic if what Lady Kazar is, says is true. What if we just break his con break his connection to the sword? We don't have to kill him. No, He's him. helped us. There's no reason to kill him. He's our friend. Why would any of you be okay with this? I am not. Or not. I would only be okay with it if we can bring him back and we know that that severs the tie forever and completely, without a doubt. He did die, though, in the fight. We brought him he, back. Yeah. And he then attuned to the weapon again because we so didn't he, fucking pay attention. So if we unattune him from the weapon, it sh should go back to normal then. If Do it, we know that? If it works, we don't try know. Try it and try it, Melora, if you can. Yeah, I, grab a a hold of, I grab a hold of Zardos, and I'm going to cast Greater Resto again, using my own charges, and I want to get rid of the, um, it says I can get rid of his attunement to a curse, to an item, um, even if it's a cursed item. Alright. And which item would you like to stop his, his attunement to? His sword. It's the only nice. one I'm attuned or attempted to attempt to. Well, Zardus, nothing changes for you since you both you weren't attempted to anything. <laughs> but you cast the spell, the diamonds are expanded, and as far as you know, it took hold. I mean, it should have. I have a very, very stupid question. And I don't know if I want to hear the answer. I uh, while you do that, seeing yeah. as... Um, her spell is about to run out, or is running out, you see Lady Kazara reach into her rope, take out a small like box, open it up, revealing some kind of pink powder. As she has to drop concentration on actually, oh wait, she doesn't have to drop concentration as she casts another spell. Uh, oh fuck! I can either identify it or you're not killing him, right? And She's casting the spell. Can I use my reaction to identify it or uh, attempt? Yes, you can try. That's an Arcana check, right? Uh, yes. 20. Oh, nice. It is a Force Cage spell. Okay. Thank you. As that. Zardos becomes enveloped in a, like for a moment, glittering box, like barely the size to stand in, and then uh, it becomes completely invisible, and Zardos, your control of your body returns to you as the paralysis ends. But, like, there's an invisible glass wall all around you. And I, you can't even, like, really move your hands or anything. Yeah, it seems a little unnecessary, but okay. I have a question. And... 
Zardas, can I check? Can I check your pulse? Uh, yes. Yes. He's undead. Yeah. I can even tr check it from here, and I use uh, what's it called? I use uh, the phone sense. Uh, he's an uh, no wait. He's not undead. He's uh, humanoid. Or more like you don't know that he's humanoid, but you don't feel any presence of. Actually, wait a moment. Uh... When I did that before, he was undead. But the, the last time you did that was before he died, wasn't no. it? Well, the this oh, in Barus's battle, yeah, but. Even when I revivified him, his heart didn't come back to life. Mm -hmm. you... Oh, yeah, 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 right, right, I remember. You feel presence okay. of two things nearby. Hmm. Probably the gargoyles? They're dragons, or draconic things. They wouldn't ping. Wait, two fiends? Yes. You know the location. Where's the location of these things? Uh, on uh, both sides of the gates, on top of the pillars. They are fiends? I thought they were dragons when I saw through them. Okay. They look like dragons. And mm. you don't know it because you're not here anymore. I know, it's Rasim who saw that, <laughs> but I remember that. For okay. some reason... No, Tiamat is a dragon, but she's also a fiend. Hmm. I mean, in canon, GNT canon, mm -hmm. it doesn't c concern my game because Tiamat doesn't exist in my game, but... <sighs> yeah, wait, for some reason I only detect the Gargos. I don't detect Zardos. Okay. So I'm pretty sure his heart didn't work when I remember. So, yeah, how the oh. fuck are you alive? No, oh, that if, might... If be... you're not living. No, that, that spell might still be in effect. I wonder if it would after I died or not. I mean, a spell? There is a specific spell. Well, yeah, I was kind of trying to avoid people noticing I was undead, so just kind of remove that. Oh. I guess it's still in effect. So you are undead. I Do you feel dead inside? <laughs> yeah, is my heart still... Oh, yeah, it's not... I mean, you can't really, like, put your hands towards it because there's not enough space, but you, like, focus. Don't really feel it beating. No beating, no need to breathe, all that good stuff, yeah. Yeah, that sounds very undead. The thing... So by what all we can tell... We have done the best to sever the connection between you and the sword. And to the best of our knowledge, we can assess that it was the weapon that gave you the ability to live while being dead. Yeah, I guess so. So what does that tell us? That either what the sword did to you is, is like a one once in a lifetime trick and it just Life goes on for you, or unlife goes on, and the connection is not required, or you're just living because you have still a connection to the sword. I don't think that. Just... I think it's the first one because if you consider that when he died in the Battle of Baros, he was able to come back, yet he did not have any connection to the sword, from what we know. Or a pulse. So maybe. Or it was immediately reapplied because it's in him. I don't know how it works, but it doesn't. Okay. Maybe Khazar? Are you talking about Nistil's magic aura? No, no, we're talking about why Zardos is undead. But yeah, that's the spell I used. Yeah, that spell. Resist until it is dispelled. It is simple. This war turned him. The sword has slowly corrupted him. 
until he was un savable that might be so I was going to say shaken enough to fall completely under his control so I won't say completely it's if happen. that would make you feel better I could put him in my prison and we can sort this out after we've done we've dealt with the dragons no, I think we need him for that. But then Jay will be super bored in all the, pre the upcoming sessions. Uh, I'll leave some crosswords for him. Yeah, crosswords, I just start doing some, uh, you know, modeling. Just some model town. Sure. <laughs> I'll this shit, yeah. Fuck. I don't know what to do. I am very, very confident that I don't know what to do. Let's look at this from a different approach. Let's ignore the part where we're not sure if in my cage is your friend Zardas or somebody else. Let's look at this from this standpoint. Are we ready to enlist the assistance of this creature with whatever powers come with it in our upcoming battle? I mean, he would be pretty safe in the cage from the dragons. No, I think she's talking about uh, making a deal with this creature, whatever it is. Being. I assumed you have already made this choice before you set out to find the Force Sword. You always knew it was a risk, as I have warned you. Never thought it would want uh, its own body. Oh, that's what it wants. Yeah, I thought like once we brought all its pieces together, which that what she wanted, that it will cooperate with us now and grant us power for our goals. I'm sorry, my dear, but powers rarely come without a price to pay. We if did, you we haven't paid the price, it just means you haven't noticed it. His whole family's dead. Isn't that a big of a price? For these kind of things? No. I could spend a day listening to you all the things I have locked in my prison, in my vault, for being too dangerous. But for most of them... Well, there's a reason I'm not offering to use them against the dragon. And if you're interested... The same principle applies to everything you have on you right now as well. Or at least your spear. Mm, well, yeah. The spear never took control of me. As far as you know. Can you, with complete certainty, claim here now that all your actions, all your recklessness and willingness to sacrifice your life for the greater good, come solely from your soul and not the influence of this divine weapon? Yes. Charging hit first and everything. And your friend is saying the same thing. Well, my spear doesn't talk to me. <laughs> All just because it doesn't talk to you doesn't mean does it doesn't have a, have an influence on you. Well, I... But... Strong silent text. There, the problem is that there's a, uh, there is definitely a difference in what it. Assume even assuming that he uh, that Traeger was on the the influence, the outcome of his deeds is something different than what we fear. Unleashing that weapon will do. So you intend to punish him for something he hasn't done yet. I'm trying to 
help him get rid of it be, so I don't have to punish him for something that he didn't did not yet do or might not even do at, at any point. We fucking don't know. We have, well, by my guest, best assumption, I assume that this is actually the, the thing in the sword, the being, is actually a remnant of the soul of that vampire queen, whatever it was, and it because, well, the things it does are fucking, well, they look very vampiric. Vampiric? Vampiric? Vampiric to me. Sounds Sucking mean. blood. Raising undead. Raising undead, yeah. Making Zardos <laughs> not really living, but not Making really him dead. sleep in a coffin. Well, you certainly have a very... And not sleep in a coffin, but... Okay. Here's the option. We could. We will definitely need help against the Mother of Dragons. Because we we don't know how strong the Mother of Dragons is, so we need to gather all the might that we need to have. One option would be to tell that Sword Lady, you will get your freedom after you help us defeat the dragon. And then we deal with the consequences that come out of that sword. That yep. way, we get Zardos to keep on living. The alternative, the only alternative I currently heard is, yeah, we have to get kill him and lock the sword away. And yeah, no one fancies that option. I can't remember. Well, the, the third option would be to throw him into a jail forever as well, but... No. Well, she is interested in a conversation to try to prove her innocence. Well, the thing is, with liars, the more chance you Wait, give them to, uh, to lie... What did you say? Well, that was the whole point of coming here, to have a conversation so that she's not evil. Yeah. Yeah, how do we do that? No idea. Yeah, that that was actually yeah, that was an option. Can we uh, okay. Assuming hypothetically we have this weapon that has been locked in with with this uh remains of a super evil uh, super strong undead creature for thousands of years, it absorbed some of its memories and by that sum of it of its power but isn't necessarily evil how do we find out that that creature is actually not evil and convince it to stay non evil because i like that option yeah, i just like that option too that's a good story for a bard the redemption of the redemption arc of a vampire. And just because someone's powers are on the side of, makes makes certain people uncomfortable doesn't necessarily mean they have to be evil. It's just the way they are. Yeah. They're trying to do what they can to survive in the world. As best they can without you know, rough I, Yeah, I honestly want to believe that that is a thing that you can use powers that are considered dark still for good I would only consider someone evil until they do something evil we all have thought about bad things but the difference is we just don't do them how do we talk to this the sword we could let it get control over his others again put him in the zone of truth Well, I, have I that hope that works. That's the only idea. Kazar? Well, it doesn't seem that we have a way to extract it. And from what I understand, it hasn't been communicating with anybody but it's holding. So far, but they haven't really tried anything else. It's, it's and the only way to ask would be to give it 
or control. I want Lee to give it a try. I like that idea. Well, I don't like it, but honestly, I prefer that over. It's the best alternative I've heard yet, so yeah. Yeah. Great. And I mean, we. Yeah. I would like one to believe that there is the possibility of turning that creature to the good side. Being that being. Fuck. I see one more option. I think, um, since it was imprisoned in the sword for so long, the sword has to be the main place of residence, right? So if there was a way to destroy it, then maybe. But from what we can tell, from what you said, you usually just lock these things up. Right, Lady Kazar? Depends on their level of power. Some can be destroyed, some cannot. Some are too complicated to be destroyed, or the means are too specific for me to spend time trying to figure it out. Especially considering the risk involved. There are some weapons that can be destroyed by being drenched in the blood of a god. Oh. Can you imagine me doing that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could, yes, but it uh, seems like a risk he mm. yeah, It's kind of the whole reason why I come talk to you about things. I think we do it. <laughs> okay, yeah. Let's... Talk to her? To them? We don't see a better option. We have to wait until tomorrow because we don't have a zone of truth today. Might as well. I don't think that's going to make the biggest difference in this conversation, right? Well, if he runs away during the night, it would make all the difference. I mean, we can make sure that doesn't happen. Is that okay? Is that what Just one night. I'm just saying, if we're going to give give her full control to talk, then I think that would be a full, full control to talk and plead her case. Then yeah, I think it should be reasonable enough to move things along. So do we want to do it now or wait for tomorrow so I have Zone of Truth? Wait for tomorrow. Um, I, I don't want to do it without the Zone of Truth. I want to be sure that that creature can't lie. Or it's at least... As sure as possible. I, yeah, I, I mean... <laughs> well, here's the thing. I do possess magic that would make make me able to lie in the zone of truth. So let's hope that that being is not strong enough and can do the same. How can you lie in the zone of truth? Magic. But Very then, would, no. No, you wouldn't. What's the spell I tried. I tried that when we when we went to. Um, when we had our negotiations with the Gaul Kingdom. Fortunately, oh, I didn't yeah. have a spell to hide that spell. <laughs> it just seems like now we've already made our decision, then. It just seems like no matter what this... I'm, I'm just going to call her a her. No matter what she says... We're already going to be suspicious of it because, like all these possibilities, she could still lie. I mean, we can use the detect magic and see if she uh, if she casts any spell on him. 
it's yeah. still possible and we can we can make sure that we dispel the the aura thing that Zardas has going and we cast a couple of dispel magics on him to get rid of anything that might be on him and that should cast away all the doubt that we can cast away I mean, it took me a long time to set this up it's pretty much all we had, all I had to do while we were waiting for you guys to turn nice. Um, oh, this is what I was going to say. We could also identify him for any spells he has on him. Oh. Like that. Yeah, that's that. Okay. I don't think... It works on creatures. But yeah, like Melora said, if we're just going into this suspicious in the back, just... Benefit the job for now. Until she proves otherwise, I think she just at least somewhat believe that things will be okay. As long as we're not talking about a body until afterwards, I'm fine. Except as far as I know, she's not worried about the body. As far as I know. She's okay, just... Relaxing. I don't know for sure. But maybe she'll say something different when you talk to me. Oh, that sounds to me like we have made a plan, a decision. We postpone this until tomorrow morning. Zardos will be kept in a nice room until then, or we can make sure that no nightly escapes occur and then we will give that being a fair chance tomorrow when we talk to her sounds fair Out of character, I just think Dan wants the sword to get a body so he can join us in the battle in, against the dragons. Yes. No. For sure. <laughs> sure. Dan has only good in his heart. He wants to be part of Heron's talents. He could. Wait a moment. Wait, wait a moment. Wait a moment. Let me cast on the truth on myself. Yes, I have only your best interest in my heart. Ah, uh, <laughs> glibness. That's totally glibness. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a 25 on my persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in the uh, immortal words of a dying Anakin, you overestimate my power! You think I can cast 8 level spells? I wish! <laughs> I wouldn't be here if I could. <laughs> Alright. I'd be somewhere earning millions by making teleportation circles. <laughs> that would be nice. Oh, let's, yeah. Let's keep watches. Uh, perhaps yeah. maybe even two at a time. Can we have even two at a time? Say again? It's, uh, it will longer the, the long rest period. I mean, I don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind. Oh, sorry, say this again. I missed the crooks of it. What do you want to do? Keeping, keeping, uh, uh, keeping watch at mm. night and two together. So it just will prolong the long rest because you need eight hours of, like six hours of sleep and two hours of watch. But if you do, if like, there are two couples, then it prolongs the long rest. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll take the last watches. Okay. Then I'll take the first uh, with Melora, perhaps. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know. 
Well, they have moose here too, so maybe they make challenges. Well. Is that, is that a TV? Or is that your husband speaking with a super deep voice? Oh, he's got the, he, he's got I'm sorry, he's got the TV on behind me. Oh, okay. Um, but, um yeah, she'll she'll have a um she'll keep watch with him. Yeah, uh you're a bit in a hurry. Things are more complicated. Oh, well, it depends on your timeline. Uh, she walks away because I was gonna go. Oh, by the way, that is not gonna go away for an hour. Well, 15 minutes. I can, I can take care of it. Hmm. Make sure you don't, you don't miss. Hmm. I don't think I can. I'll just point my finger directly at Zardos and, um, you know. Disintegrate! <laughs> You're laughing, but I am actually disintegrating this force cage. Yeah, that's, so. the, only that's, that's the only, only thing way that to get out of it. All right. Yeah. So, without us dead, there are no questions <laughs> yes, anymore. Yeah, I can't even disintegrate. It. Okay. It's a level eight. It's a level seven disintegration. I'm not sure he has that many HP right now. Did you heal up the fools, Zardos? Yeah, we uh, healed hmm. during okay. the short rest. All right. It's only 93 points of damage. So Why 93? Because I don't have a level 6 slot left over, so it has to be level mm. 7. But you so need to roll good. one more because you rolled a 6. Oh, oh yes, yes, of course, yes. My <laughs> power, level 18 feature. See, <laughs> see, you still can kill yourself as it isn't a great. I couldn't. This one doesn't kill me. That's 99. 99. I don't die. <laughs> oh my god. I will survive myself. But the trick is that I can bonus action max damage on this spell and then I still kill myself. Mm. You've got 99 you problems, but this integrate is no longer one. Uh, All right. So in that case, as you disintegrate uh, Zardos out of his force cage, and he immediately runs away. <laughs> <laughs> the whole session starts from the beginning. It's just Zardos. What do you do as you find yourself released from the cage? Dimension. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> It's fine, so we can stretch for once. Okay, it's a little better. <laughs> All right, so um, you prepare to camp outside of the building. What? Oh, uh, are what? you breaking your agreement? I think I thought we were breaking it so he was in a secure room, but I don't know. Well, as long as the sword stays out, Up to you. Do you want to be paranoid bastards? Do you want to be lying bastards? Do you want to be cheating bastards? I've got an assortment of bastards you can be. So how many of them can we combine with one option? <laughs> uh, well, none of you is technically a bastard. Mm. So everything aside from that? Hmm. Well, technically, if we take the sword inside, it's still not in the mansion because it's in a pocket dimension in the bag oh of holding. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, really? there's literally nothing that sword can do about this, so... You do you. I'm just <laughs> listening and jotting down your line and shit. <laughs> Camping outside or staying... Or just staying inside the mansion? The agreement was staying outside. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm okay if we stay outside, but we have to. Just set for up reference, some outside will technically be outside of the garden as well. Okay. So, like, I don't know, go to a tavern or something? Yeah. No, no, we were in the garden. Second? Mm. Thought we were in the garden. No, you were outside of the gate. I'm okay with staying outside, but yeah, if there's 
Kaga, is there like a tavern that is a direct competi competitor to your family's tavern that no, you really don't no like? Idea. <laughs> <laughs> Never yeah. heard of one. <laughs> it happens to be really close by and very secure, guarded against teleportation. Uh, yeah, let's. I'm not gonna bring them to my family's tavern. That's like what I'm asking. Tavern. Does your family's tavern have competition? I don't know. Maybe I mean, we'll go to one. <laughs> It's up to you to come up with its knowledge, I don't care. You can even make a name for it. The bastards. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, are you I'm going to the tavern? The bastards. Is it a yes? What? Are you going to a tavern? Yes. Huh? Yeah. In that case, yeah. Trager gets it to a tavern. Uh, like, the sign of the tavern is like a large sword. And gets you in. It's a bit late, uh, but luckily for you and for your uh, big pockets, uh, there's enough rooms for you. Uh, not individual rooms, though I don't think you're interested in individual rooms. We really aren't. Commune yeah. room. Yeah. Yep. I mean, is the best option you have? Uh, you have is take like a room. Four people and plus another room because otherwise it's gonna be like a ten people room and there are gonna be other people in that room. Yeah, that sounds good. We can make one prison cell and one sleeping cell. It's good. Uh, so four plus two is a number. Yes, sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, so who do you put? Oh, I guess you can like yeah, you can have like sleeping people in one room and two people in another room. Yeah, those who are, who are on watch are in the bigger room. Yeah. All right. Right, uh, well, um, that's that, so uh, let us take a break and see how well Zardus' uh, divorce consulting goes after the break. <laughs> <laughs>
And we're back. So, here in Stellans, you are in a tavern you don't like very much. With a contained individual. I'd like to hear those watch orders. I'm going to take the last ones. Uh, you no. muted Zelim. And, Damn it, uh, why is it... I'm joining him. Why okay. am I stupid microphone? So... I guess Trego and Melora can take the first... Do we want to do the first two, or...? Yep. So it's gonna be Trego and Melora, Trego and Melora, Aris, Neos, Aris, Neos. Yeah, I can take one too, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, so Zardos and Blood Princess, Zardos and Blood look, Princess. Do you want to feel like Aris feels? Just sleep throughout the night. Like five minutes, they letting you do that. Enjoy your prison, I guess. Prison. Yes. yes. Um. So, like, yeah, watch is supposed to be two hours, right? Yeah, we yeah. need. To, we are prolonging our rest. Yeah. Here, so you're right? basically so. like prolonging your. Yeah, you're like they're taking four hours of watch, so you need it to add at the end another two hours, right? Mm -hmm. uh... Yeah, another two, so it's six out of eight or six out of whatever. But we need at least six hours of sleep. So basically, it's probably. Well, then you need to do even more. Yeah, we need more. You need. Four, five, six, you need 12 hours. Yeah. I'm kind of yeah. True, it's very right. efficient. So, I guess it's like gonna be three watches for Tregamilor and three watches for Arliss and Nails. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I'd like everybody to make perception checks. Just one? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah! Start. We are gonna. Our watch is gonna be dope. <laughs> the other side, though. All right. What do we have? I think next time we need to split uh, up the more perceptive people. Yeah, you <laughs> definitely should have. All right. Yeah. Um. So, uh, Zardos. Actually, no. I'm gonna get to you last. Um. Melora and Trigger. So I say actually like do do you wanna go like sleep or do you like wanna be like fuck you I'm gonna stay awake all night? More just, yeah, I guess rest, sure. Right. So in that case, um I guess you spend the first watch basically like just staring at each other awkwardly. And Zardos goes to sleep. It's about the time. And uh, very quickly you hear nothing coming from the coffin because he doesn't snore, because he doesn't really breathe. Um, or at least he doesn't need to. Uh, and... I mean, do you want to do something for your remaining four hours of watch? Aside from watching things? Watching, that's the... we're watching Zardus. Like, do you like, I don't know, play word scramble or... Mm -mm. Just dead eye stares I've, into Zardos' I've, I've been the force, I know how to watch. I know how important watches are. And you've been. I guess Miller has been as well, like wild watching or something. Animal watching. <laughs> Alright, so that's, that, that, that's boring. That, that's boring. Uh, I mean, uh, yes. Can I, check, can I check to see if Ralph comes back to us if we're outside uh, now? Yes, you can check that. That's yeah. investigation. <laughs> what the <laughs> No, I'm rolling for it. Because it's a knife. Uh, that I okay. forgot to remove from the table. Uh, so where do you look for Alf? Um we're where are we at again? We're in Kazar's garden. No, you are in a we're random in a tavern known called oh, the, the Bastards. Tavern? I'm just looking around the room seeing if he just pops in. Alright. Um, Maybe whistle to try and call him. 
Yeah, you call out for Alf, look around the room, check out under the benches, check out under Arles. Alf is nowhere to be seen. You walk out in the hallway, it's quiet by now, most people have... Well, a lot of people have gone to sleep, there's still like some relatively low-key... Um, Debauchering? No, that's, that's that's close to real world, but not really. Debauchery? I guess it's just debauchery. Okay. Debauchery, yeah. There's just some low-key debauchery happening, like, in the common room uh, downstairs. But you hear, like, quiet scratching from the room next door. Where Arlis and Leos are supposed to be sleeping, actually. I will, I will very quietly open up the door. All right. You open the door. It's dark inside because they're sleeping. And for a moment you think there's nothing, but then you feel something staring at you. And as your eyes can like adjust to you know, like darkness, going from like dim light to darkness, you notice Ralph. Absolutely still sitting under Arles, his mouth completely open. And if he had eyes, he would be just like staring at you, like, I'm not here, you can't see me if I'm not moving. I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> Shows up for I'm gonna quiet I'm gonna quietly I'm saying, Melora's gonna quietly whisper, but I'm not going to because you won't hear me. Come on, buddy, come on. We'll get you something to eat, not Arliss. Her eyes goes. <laughs> and. That a boy. A grudging glitch starts trudging after you out of the room. Good boy. Oh. Good boy. And then we go back into um, the room with Sardos. Haven't seen him in a while. Do we have any meat that we can give him? Yes, oh, it's the next room. <laughs> Do you think we could? I don't know, Trego, do you think maybe we could give him the sword? Remember how um, he was with that um, moth scale that I got? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. What happens if he becomes a vampire chest mimic thing? I don't want to risk Ralph. Risking yeah, no, Zardos no. is fine. Risking Ralph is, is out of the question. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't want to risk our baby. She pets him. He seems um, rather elated. Is the tavern, um, like the rest, I guess the restaurant part of the tavern open this late? Like, could I get some food for him no. before we go to bed? Or? At the start of your watch, yes. Alright, I'll go to the tavern keep and I'll order a couple of steaks for Ralph. That's gonna be relatively expensive. Uh, he likes legs. Order some chicken legs. <laughs> yeah, chicken legs. Um, a drumsticks or whatever, I don't know how you call it. Yeah, drumsticks seems to be appropriate. Uh, really strange. Actually, actually, no, it's not expensive at all. Like, how much do you want to buy? <laughs> um... I think... Ah, uh, god, I don't know the physics of a freaking mimic. What would be good to get him? I guess get... Three pounds? Three pounds of chicken legs for him? How and after much he, after is it in hamburgers? How much is what? <laughs> 
three pounds. Alright, that's like 1.4 kilograms, I think, in normal right. numbers. Okay, okay, um, alright, which is gonna be like, 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 six chicken legs? Yeah, I think that's good, that's good for him. I think? Um, yeah, that's gonna be five copper. Okay, and I'll give, I'll give him a gold, tell him to keep the, keep the rest of it as a tip. <laughs> and after round, it's easier for me to break a gold, shut up. That's like buying bubblegum and giving them $100 for a tip. <laughs> it really I is. Silver. One silver piece, tell them to keep it. So Alright, um... After he's done, I do want to inspect Ralph, see if there's anything yeah. new on him. Oh yeah, make an investigation check. Oh, you did already. Uh, 28. Uh, yeah, so you kind of like leave Ralph um, enjoying the meat. I assume it's raw chicken? Yeah, it would have been raw chicken. Right, raw chicken. And you kind of like kneel down and like start like going over his legs, like just scrubbing him gently to make sure he doesn't get too feisty about this and checking his legs. And... Yeah, um, how should I call it? There are some, like, interesting legs. Um, uh, there is a pair of, um, like, blue, um, not quite scaly, but... It's like leathery legs, like pretty stumpy, uh, with impressive claws at the edge. Um, then uh, there's like uh, two on each side of like really nice white furry legs. The Yeti? Oh no. And then in the very back, like where a, bu a butt would be, there is a pair of uh, skeleton legs. <laughs> Spent an Everwinter! <laughs> and as you're watching him, you see like a knob in the wood kind of start budding and becoming larger. Please tell me he's getting a tail. I mean, it's like about the size of a big meaty pimple right now. <laughs> he's giving birth to another mimic. Yes! Ralph was a bad guy all along. <laughs> you thought he was a red oh. herring? No. no! He's a good boy. Um, you play with him for the rest of the watch, or like, I guess it's not play him, or like, he kind of gets down next to you and you scratch him as you observe Zardus. And at some point you just hear, whoop! And where there was that knob, there's now a dangling, useless, way too short chicken leg. <laughs> so now we have confirmation that's how it works yes that that's definitely how it works not disturbing at all yes truth be told is that the most disturbing thing we've seen ralph is a zerg <laughs> oh it's made all right, I'm good. There's nothing else I want to do. All right, uh, Trekker. Anything so, else you want to do aside from a pondering? Then when you're gonna get married, that's gonna be in your home. I mean, he's part of the family. 
<laughs> he is the family. He eats everyone. <laughs> you know, it's like that meme. Uh, like, uh, Father, no, we can't get a magic immune uh, homicidal chest. Later, Father and the magic immune homicidal chest. <laughs> Alright. Yep. So you do that. Um, it's getting pretty hard to stay awake at the end of the watch, but you both are fairly sturdy. And with Tregor's aura pumping, uh, it kind of works like direct uh, caffeine injection for the purpose of staying awake uh, when and healthy uh, but yeah you finish your watch you go kick Arles and uh, awaken Leos fun fact yeah as you go into the room like for a moment you think that Leos is dead his line completely still, unmoving, almost the way his others does. And then he just very imperceptibly shrugs, and you wake him up. Hmm. Well, hello. Okay, yeah, uh, it's your turn. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to proceed to my watch. Yes. Huh? Are the two of you want to do something? I mean, you must be doing something because judging by your roles, you're not having a watch. Uh, oh, shame. I'm probably playing around uh, with my new bow, like notching, uh, like pulling the string, watch arrows appear, and probably let loose one or two accidentally. <laughs> Do you kill whoever's above you? Yeah, yeah, just shoot them in the in the wall or something. I don't know. Uh, I think it's mostly daydreaming. You know, you're trying to focus on keeping a watch, and then this thought pops into your head, and you follow it. And then the next thought comes along, and, and then you hear like some scratching, and you're like, "Wait, is." Okay, no, he's not behind me. He's not below me either. All right, Melora must be having a hold of him. I will survive yet another day. <laughs> Wait. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So uh, while you two are watching, because I don't know how else to call that. Uh, I mean, Zarus, you are having a wonderful long sleep. Uh, you've been awake, uh, the first person to be awake, and, and I'm not awake asleep, and you just having wonderful dreams. What are you dreaming about, my man? Uh, hmm, that's a good question. No question, sleep. <laughs> Family did. Princess. <laughs> Princess Queen trying to get a body. Yeah, it's probably not too comfortable. You know, like those dreams when you like you dream like you're drowning, and then you wake up and you're like, "Oh my god, that was terrible." For you, it's like, "Oh my god, I used to be able to drown." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, as you are dreaming, you get one of those dreams that feel really real, but you don't feel like you're quite in control. You know, it's like you're trying to run and you're not running anywhere, you're trying to punch somebody and you feel as weak as like a newborn baby. And it's all kind of like smudged, just like colors, colors, blotches. But you do hear the a voice coming at you from a bit away. Doesn't look like you'll get it done your way. It's working. Is it? 
They're going to hear you out. They want to kill you? That was Lady Kazor. She does a lot of... I'm sure she has quite a few... I should say shady stuff she does herself, but... She didn't... It's her idea, but she's just not going through it. They're going to hear you out. And she wasn't the it. only one who was interested in the idea. Yeah, well, like I said, they they come up with a lot of crazy ideas. You've been around them long enough to know that. Doesn't mean they always do it. I know that you have a lot of great potential. You can be far more amazing than you really are. As long as you don't go down the, down this path that... No, you don't have to tell me what I can do. I know that very well. Uh, maybe going with the things you want the way you want to do them, but saying there's better ways for you to to do that and be better more than you even more than even you. Well, their test is not going to work on us, and I think I'm gonna be succumbing to any zones of anything. Well, that's I'm sure and. I don't think the zone of truth would work too much, but I'm just saying you have a chance to tell them how you actually feel. Work this out. I'm definitely not agreeing to serve them and do what they want me to, only to be betrayed when I'm no longer needed. So you're not... I won't let that happen. You know how many times I've heard that phrase? Yeah, well, I'm saying at this point you've you have a lifespan of being stuck in a cave for a long time, then walking around with us. It's, come on, it's not really a whole lot, a whole lot to choose. The way I see it, right now, I have the upper hand. I have the cards. If I give up, if I give them what they want, I lose any leverage they have. I have. They will have no reason to give me anything they promise. Or oh, some of them may hold on to their world, but it won't be all of them. It won't be even a half. And some of them will decide it's better to remove me, breaking the promise. It's not going to happen. Say it again. See. So that's not going to happen. They will see how great you really are, and you said your memories of your predecessor or whatever you want to call it. No, I'm sure that you believe that. No, I'm only going by what you've told me. You said you haven't lied to me. I'm taking much your word for that. And just going by the way the previous vampire queen or whatever died things ended there. If you want to go about doing things your way, which seems to be her way, I don't see things ending too much differently this time around. Any vampire that's been around since then I'm sure has learned to live differently. Well, this time, if they try to kill me, they will have to kill you. That's why I'm saying it's not going to happen. Oh. Yes, I guess you're right. They may that may not stop them. It is quite funny how much I've been helping you, and yet it's not enough. But when that one comes back, not that different from you, they do not question it, for his powers were given by a god. Like I said, it's human nature to 
be a little hesitant about certain aspects. And they will soon see that your powers, while something they may not be instantly comfortable with, are still very good. Show them. You're not doing a very good job of selling me them. So far, the only one who was on my side was the one I've already charmed and the pragmatic one. I expect that one to stab us once he's finished with it, though. You are with me, and nothing, I'm not going to let anything happen to me. Those are words. I need proof. And what kind of proof? I've told you. You want me to help you? Fine. I'll do that walking by your side. I mean, I haven't gone back on my word so far. I've done what I've said I was going to do. I trust that you trust that you will try. I don't trust that you will succeed. But I am telling you, if they want me to trust them, they will have to trust me. And That's they cool. seem completely unwilling to do that. You've seen a little of what they've gone through. Trust isn't easy for a lot of people. But yes. we're getting I've also seen them make enemies where they shouldn't have. Yeah, they're not always the best planners or whatever, but things happen. You live, you learn. So far, my opinion of this group is that half of them will kill whoever is inconvenient, no matter where they stand. And the other half will kill me because their god told them to. Yes, sir. We're almost there. Almost got them to trust as you need. Sometimes you have to give a little to get, get a little. So be it. I'll keep pretending to have been searched. But if I see that they are not to be persuaded, if they attempt to become hostile towards you or me, I'm running this boat. Just remember, they could have tried to force us into the mansion and do whatever they were going to do, but they didn't. They want to give you a chance to understand each other. Yes, and I've been fighting by their side for months. Yeah, well, that was more when they were just considering you a so good. Now they realize that you're... I have a second condition, just to be petty. If they want me to work with them, every single one of them, starting from today, they want me to work for them, is to take not a bit of meat or fish or bird into their mouth. They consider me drinking blood to be a heresy. Let's see them survive on plants. I don't think they said it was heresy, they just said it was unusual. Not a whole lot of swords do that. It's all their stuff. And as I've been telling you, I have... I haven't met anyone. But the memories I have... They're not many. Who I would call more hypocritical than they are. It 
suit yourself, I'll play along. Is she still keeping that second condition? Yes. Oh, certainly. I mean, look, look, you know the rule of negotiation. If you want something, you ask for something impossible, like for them all to become vegetarians. And then you can go They're back on them, and then might agree to the thing you actually want, like getting a body. Yeah, it's true. It's Out of story. character, I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll go vegan. <laughs> and again, we do have good berries. Alright. Um, in that case, the long rest... Mm, passes. You wake up. Well, not wake up, but more like uh, done with your rest pretty late in the morning at about nine. The sun has. The sun hasn't risen all that recently because it's still February. But you're definitely waking up like the last people in the tavern. Uh, well, minus the drunkards. What you wanna do? I haven't fucked up? No, I haven't. That's a surprise. <laughs> well, should we get this sh shinde going? Yeah, sure. I'm updating the, the spells and all that. Oh, great. Uh, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Sorry, miss click. I think I'm gonna unlearn. <laughs> <laughs> also, I still have tides left over. Yeah. Okay, let's learn. Of life for a zone of truth. You will walk a couple times during the night, and it's like you need to go magically pee, but. You were too drowsy to go and do that. I'm very good at living with the magical pee inside of me. No. <laughs> the question is, how special? Is it you, or is it the magical pee inside of you? Does it really matter? Uh, Wait, yeah. This what kind of feels like some sort of like a Linkin Park song. Like, the magical pee inside of me! <laughs> Let me check something. <laughs> Gonna unlearn create food for remove curse just in case. Oh, dude. And yeah, I'm so out of like, it. Like, when she's gonna tell you to go vegetarian and learning create food is not the best option. We got good berries. Uh, what else? I kind of want to learn. Adventures and long trip. You are vegetarians. You eat only magic. See. What, what does lesser restoration do? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm not gonna say this out loud. Probably a poison. No, that's actually a good thing. Uh, I'm gonna. Huh. I'm gonna swap. I think. Uh. I think I'm gonna swap. Either bless or shield of faith for command. Drop shield of faith. Yeah? Yeah, bless is better. It's been raining. Again, like I never use week. it, but I should. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to. Just smite somebody. Oh, I might. Wait. How many spells? It's. Uh... Okay. Magical being inside you of me. Now, there you go. 
Bloodsuckers. 13. I might be able to learn two more spells. Wait. You should be I... able to learn half six plus down nine, level. fifteen. Eight, nine, fifteen. No, wait. What? Nine. Nine. Nine plus, plus six, six, fifteen. Fifteen. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, that's what Dan I've just got... said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've counted less. I can learn more. Okay. I mean, uh, you, yeah. Don't count How your many have you... <laughs> class, not class and subclass spells. You must not keep the forgot to add new spells when your charisma increased. Yeah. Also, maybe when he hit 18. Yeah, that's what I'm 13, saying. So but... I got two more spells. Yeah, he basically got charisma from 16, and, from 18 yeah. to 22 in like very short period of time. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I got two two more spells to actually uh, learn. Uh, I'll bring back Shield of Faith because I do use that sometimes. And the last yeah. one, geese maybe. Geese? Gesh. 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 Gesh? I don't know. I've watched the anime called yeah. Code Geese, so... <laughs> Let's call it gay. <sighs> Dispel good or evil, maybe? I don't think you can dispel her, but give it a try. But which one is the better choice? I love... Niza. Yeah. No uh. idea. <laughs> right, while he's thinking about this okay. crap. C Circle of power, I think, will be better. Alright. Uh, while he's thinking about that crap, uh, everybody else and go on during the morning. We're going back to Khazar's place, right? <clears throat> Having this conversation out front with uh, Lady Khazar present. Yes. <laughs> Makes the most sense. <laughs> Let's interrogate an ancient vampire, possibly spirit, in the middle of a street. Okay. Yes. I mean, uh, it wants us to not go into our home, so yes. Do you have breakfast? Yes. Yeah. Do you brush your teeth? Of course, always. Do you I go to the toilet? Sometimes. Yes, always. Uh, Aaron accepts <laughs> <laughs> Um. All right. Yeah. Sure. I mean, yeah. You spend some time getting ready, praying for your spells, or convincing yourself that you know these spells, because Paladins are like orcs from Warhammer 40k. They're all about the power of belief. Red goes faster. Um, and then you go on to Lady Khazar's place, and right about as you go there, you see it being raised by a giant green dragon. <laughs> Nice. Actually, let me check. This is the plot twist we need. <laughs> We're getting close to this. Alright. Uh, yeah, what do you do? Uh, you want me to do Zone of Truth, right? Yeah. Does he need to attune first? Uh, yes. I think so, yeah. Sardas, do you want to put your hand in the bag? Sure. Red sword. He pushes Zardos inside the bag. <laughs> I mean, he can survive in there. It's okay. Definitely. Yeah. Grab the sword and attempt to attune. <laughs> That's going to take a while. Yeah. Alright. Uh, Kazari with us? All nine eyes on you. Uh, no, uh, but as you like start doing that crap, uh, she gets informed of your arrival and a bit later comes out. <sighs> okay. 
Okay, so he's gonna tune. I'm gonna do Zone of Truth, and then hopefully we can talk to her. Yeah, something like that. So we're very awkward with our passes, as a few people passing by, and quite a lot of tourists are coming here just to look at the palace, like like looking at you guys, just like standing in front of the house, doing nothing really. Uh, and now passes. And Zardos, you feel a re-established connection with this world and a voice in your head go, Oh no, I'm gonna pretend this is how I came back. Be nice. This isn't gonna work, you're not a good enough liar. But... <laughs> I heard we heard the be nice part, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. And they're not gonna like the truth. All right, please be so kind to ask her to take over so we can talk to her directly. Yeah, so if you would like to take over, go for it. I will give you control. Are you giving me... <clears throat> Are you offering me the whole of you, body and soul? Just body? Uh, yeah, you know, you have a soul. She Same already thing. owns that, it's okay. Pretty sure I've already given you quite a bit, so... Yes, not less than you were given. Fine, yeah. let us start Still. the charade. Maybe... Maybe now you will understand what it feels like. Be me. And you feel yourself thrust out of your body and find yourself in a tiny black room with nothing in it. Oh, my childhood again. <laughs> oh, shit. A little window fuck. through which you can hear oh, distant God. sounds. Of conversation. See, actually, the window this time is better. <laughs> you watch as Zardos straightens out, comes almost taller, gives you all a look that makes you shudder a little bit. Hello there. Ah. You have any name you'd prefer to be to be addressed by? I was given no name. I was forged for a purpose. And I was thrown away for a purpose. I could give you the name of the one I killed. Because yeah. you think that I am her. I just want whatever oh. name you prefer. Alright, so no name. Alright, here's the deal. We'll all step in a zone of truth. You will answer honestly to the questions we have. We will find some agreement. Imagine Zardas doing this. And... Hopefully, we'll come out all alive. Oh, and who will be casting the spell? Buddy there. Wonderful. And, and what will be the promise of you all telling the truth? Oh, you will feel it. He will step in it as well. Yes, why should I believe him? Look at him. He's not... He he doesn't he doesn't have a lie in him. Trigger? Yes. You feel like at this point your internal allegiance extends to this creature as well. She is actually like right now 
Bizardos not in control, she is your best friend. You care about her as much as you care about Melora. Not in the never... same way, but to the same magnitude. I would never lie to you. Oh, I know, I'm just kidding. See, you already have him in, uh, uh, charmed, so... He can lie to you. And there's also magic. And... Can you agree to that? We all say the truth. I don't think it's gonna work on me, but sure, I'll play along. Listen. So far, all we have seen of you is hostile behavior. I understand where it came from. <laughs> Shut up! Yes, that's all you've seen of me. Imagine what I've seen of you. Yes. Jealousy. Arrogance. Okay. Hypocrisy. Alright. Listen, I understand that you want to be free. And... Being in prison, being... I can't imagine what it must have been like. Being created for the sole purpose of destruction and then being imprisoned with what you were destined to kill and then taking over those memories. I have no idea. You but understand... To please please, let, me, please let me finish. Watched. Let me finish. Don't be rude here. I've been listening to you long enough. Listen, so far, you have done no evil. Everything. What? What do you mean by everything? Everything that he needed to be of use to you. I think you're downplaying him, but um, who am I to judge? <laughs> Even then, he is one out of five pieces here. And no more, just like any of us is just one out of five pieces here. So that everything may count for him, it does not count for us. Oh, how nice of you to put me to a high standard that you put yourself. Okay. No. Okay. Let's, let, let's, uh, let's, okay. I have the following suggestion. We t all take a step back. We forgo all the hostilities that we have towards each other and we dismiss the bitching to have a productive conversation because we have shit to do. I apologize for being hostile that that is on me. Uh, I do not expect you to apologize, but I hope that you agree to have a productive conversation. Speak the truth, and hopefully everyone gets out of this alive, if we can come to an agreement. Now, you, now you treat me like a person. Are you sure yes. you can trust it? No. I don't. That's exactly why we're having this fucking conversation, because I don't know you. And this is the first chance that we get to talk to each other. That's why we're doing this. Because right now, for all we have seen of you, you have been a sword that has been affecting him, that has taken control over him. For what I say is understandable reason, you want to be free. And to be free, Fine. people do your blabbering begins to tire me. Oh, Cast your magic. <laughs> I guess on the truth. Okay. What's the spell this I... right now? 20? 20. I willingly fail it immediately. 20, yeah. I don't know. Did you say it? Or is it a. Hmm? Charisma. Charisma save, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Trigo, do you step into your own zone of truth? 
Oh iya. Yeah, yeah. Uh I'm failing it. What about the others? I mean, there's no point to resist here. Yeah, the same. I don't resist. Cheer. Let us know, Trego, once everyone has failed. She points at Kazar. I want Hain as well. Kazar raises one eyebrow like... You know, like that famous book? The Lion, the Witch and the Audacity of this Bitch? <laughs> no, but that's good. <laughs> I think you're uh, gonna have to convince her yourself in that case. It's not exactly like she is uh Can we can we please all just step in here? I think we all have our opinions and honestly <sighs> Let's just get this over with, please. I am tired of talking. when we have to face a fucking dragon again. Because our steps forward into the zone. Thank you. Uh, those Thank are the you. words I never expected you to say. Please? Kind of. I'm tired of talking. And oh. gives you a weak smile and kind of like squeezes your arm a little bit. Okay. Uh, Trigger, you... you have to wait a little bit, but after a while, Kazar fails. Um... And uh, Zardos goes, Well, sweetheart, tell me the truth. Did they all fail as they claimed to? Uh, yes. And have Did you she failed? failed? She isn't in yet. Uh -huh. and, and did who? Did you fail? Yeah. She takes the half step forward necessary to be in range. You know, you could choose to fail, you don't need to resist. Just accept. Yes, just accept. All right, your deal is you want to be free, right? You. I, we don't. Uh, Trego, did she fail? Did she? Not yet. Not yet. You willing to play, or are you? I think not it will be easier reason? if you start talking. By the time you finish, I might just succumb to this. You can succumb whenever you like. So you're just holding out on us. We had a deal here. And it was that we're going to talk under the guise of this spell, and we all want to be in it for that. So please join us. No. Why not? Because I do not fail. I do not succumb. You either win me over, or you don't. Don't. How about okay. we start uh, okay. talking and then answer after we've spoken that she can feel right. safe to yeah. let this when go. She, when she her. when she chooses to feel safe, it's not like we can convince her. Chuggy, okay. you feel the ping. <sighs> no fun. Okay. She has failed. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, oh, she has failed. Thank you. That is mighty cooperative. I appreciate it. I really do. Okay, here's the thing. My perspective, you have done some things that in this city would be considered a crime. I don't give a shit about it. There's nothing bad has happened. You have taken control of our friend here because I assume that you wanted to be free. And 
Well, I can say I wouldn't do the same if I were in the same position. So when it comes to me, I don't care. As long as you promise that once you are free, you don't get, get go on a killing rampage or start enslaving humans, unless they have a weird fetish and they're really, really fucking into it without you charming them with magic. And by the way, if you charm someone else of this group beyond Zardos and Trago, I will consider this hostile. Uh, character, what the fuck? You don't consider me hostile? <laughs> okay. I understand why you want to do this. You want to be free. And I'm willing to help you as long as we can be sure that we don't unleash pretty much the same thing of what we have been fighting in the past. I don't want to unleash a monster. And if all that you desire is to be free because you don't want to be shackled anymore then i'm happy to help you as long as that doesn't cost my friend's life if your plan is to revive some ancient empire that enslaved all of humanity and alike then i would say no and Honestly, I don't consider drinking blood a bad thing. I can't imagine that that is also possible without killing anyone. I honestly don't. I have seen people doing worse things than that and having uh, getting away with it. So from my perspective, we let you free. We let you live, you don't turn fucking evil and destroy this kingdom as Oko intended to do or Zardas' family intended to do, then we're good. Now, is and that your plan? Over. No, it hasn't been 10 minutes. I looked on the fucking clock. When, do you know when we started? At 20, it's 28. And also, uh, we didn't. We skipped quite a bit in between where we didn't talk. There wasn't any actual time passing, so it's not over. The time was passing. Can you recast it? Yeah, casting it on a higher spell uh, makes it longer. No, no, there's nothing. No, no. I think it may, at best, extend the range of it. No, it does not. Doesn't, if it doesn't do anything. Do okay. How about before I? waste all my spell slots, you come up with the questions you would like to ask, and then How shoot about them. We you just... I literally asked all the questions I have. Just recast it. Okay. I recast it. It's ten minutes. It's not like we're talking about 60 seconds here. I wait for Trago to tell us if everyone has failed. Everyone has spells. Yep. At Everyone which spells. point into the spell, how many minutes do we have left on it? Uh, nine and a half five. minutes. Okay. How much? Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Okay. So, would you please tell us? I am a ruler. I am a queen. I am an empress, and I am looking for a king. I am making a king. Though frankly, your friend is being rather... Mm. short-sighted. My goal is to rule by the side of my king. But it is his kingdom. And those are his laws to make. Wow. I will make him a king. Like no one has been before. Wow. 
Yes. Why? Because that is my is there... desire. But why? Why are you risking your life? For this, she points wildly at the city. Because I was taught to do the right thing? Because I don't want destruction? I don't want people to be enslaved? Same reasons apply to me. I know okay. no other desire. Fair enough. I cannot say no to a question about enslaving and killing. That you will have to ask him. If he so desires, I will be his weapon. So... It completely is up to Zardos to decide if what kind he of proves to be a king. If he is supposed to be king? If he proves to be. What happens if he doesn't? I guess I look for another king. Hey, it's king, uh, König Feinig the single, isn't he? Yes. <laughs> His wife is dead, yes. I mean, I can give you a He's very widowed. short path to a king. Let go of Zardos, we have a wonderful king. I can introduce you to him. I wouldn't say no to that. But not in the manner you expect. Could you explain? I'm not sure I get what you mean. Why it would be appropriate for my king to know the others. After all, there will be his vassals to rule. So the question is... Do you trust your friend to be good? Do you trust him to be your kind of good? <laughs> yes. Yeah. She glances at the rest of you. Yeah. It's He's much harder to... Him. It's much harder to be good when you're born into such circumstance that he was. Yes. He had I probably all... trust him more than I do, trust myself. Oh, same for me. He he was born into well, a wicked family. And he was the one who pulled the plug. I honestly believe he is so much better than me. As our goes. I believe he'll be corrupted and succumb to your wiles, but I can wait until then to destroy him. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Look, I can't judge you for your desires. Okay. I right. can't. I won't punish you for things you haven't done yet. So if you what you s I can't. No. Who am I to do that? We all have desires. Doesn't mean they come to fruition. And honestly, where... as just... long you... sorry, go ahead. Just a curiosity. Where will this kingdom be that you describe? Everywhere. Eventually, I suppose. So conquering? Eh, there are many ways. It's not all learned through blood. Well, I guess in the end it's all done through blood. By marriage or otherwise. I mean, as long... I Honestly, as long as... As your king gets to dictate... What you do... I will judge the king and not you. Will that be the case, though? 
well, are you going to... If he choose, Let's say Zardos chooses to go a peaceful path by marriage and crafting alliances. You will comply with him, right? You're not going to try to make him fight dark wars and kill everyone just because you feel like it? Time is not an issue I can waste. Well then, I don't have anything to say. I Except for you, do you find, find yourself a body? Can we craft her a body? Mm. Might yes. be able to out of the, um, if we add if we have any hair or something, we could maybe do something with the reincarnate. No, you can't cause reincarnate calls for a soul, and if a soul isn't coming, it's a body. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. How then? How do we get her a body? Well. How about we figure that out after we have come to an agreement? Yeah. I'm sure how, she knows the way herself. How how does everyone else feel? Melor, Trego. Yeah. I to be honest, I haven't been given a reason not to trust Zardo or her. So to trust or mistrust? Mistrust, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm not good with words. It's you okay. know I don't like to talk much. But they've given me no reason to distrust them. Zardos has made the right decisions. He's sacrificed a lot to help people. I'm I'm okay. I'm okay with whatever is decided. I would have one condition, or mm -hmm. one ask. I don't know if I'm in any position to make that ask. No, or may how. maybe it's just I have conditions maybe, of my own. Maybe it's just a question of clarification. If he fails, or, or if he succeeds, that's on his approach, right? It's not like you're at some point just going to take control over him and just do your bidding. If he proves to be unfit for a king, I will seek another. Okay. And that will not destroy him. Hmm. Depends on where he is at this point. But you, so as you leaving him doesn't actively kill him, right? Hands on the truth. Went away. Not yet. He's looking at five, four. Now three, it's gone. Two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should I another it one? Again? Yeah. Yes. Another. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. I'm out of second level spells. Have you cast it? Yeah. All right. I'm starting the timer. On a path to kingdom, one may undertake many a path that would be considered unnatural, one that would be beyond his human abilities, <laughs> if at such point I were to lose my support, I may lose control of those powers, yes. Whether they kill him or not, I do not know. Well, honestly, I look at at Heron's talent. Honestly, there have been more vicious and poisonous <laughs> consultants whispering into kings and queens' ears. Thank you. It sounds to me like it's up to Zardos. Yeah, and, and they might not quite wield 
any anywhere close to the power she wields or can give him. But if it's mostly up to Zardos, then I am down to give this a try. And in all honesty, I have a similar perspective to Lady Kazars. I hope this works out. Oh, I'll see you in a hundred years. Yeah, you will. Yeah. I mean, if if you do anything that... Well... You know, if you do become a monster, we will... Cross that bridge when we come to it. But if it's up to Zardos, I think we're gonna be fine. Out of character, does Zardos hear all of this? Um, yes, but like it's behind the door. Mm. It's like, it's like when he was a kid and his parents were arguing <laughs> about whether he should be beaten today, to, to right now, or in the morning. All right. Yes, they fall into my plan. Okay. And look at you. You have made a decision. I have my own conditions. And what would that be? First, if you want me to continue being of use, I want a body. Okay. What does that include? Yeah. Does it... I assume you went to the hospital to find a body suitable for you? Yes. Does it involve killing someone? The body has to be alive. Even if just better. If so you can make the body in another way, it yourselves. I look at Lady Kazar. Is there a way we can create a body for her? She goes. Don't ask me why, but I do have bodies lying around. They will not fit her though. And the others I can make will take months. Oh. oh, come on. Your kind is dying thousands every day. Just find one that has a couple seconds. I would be fine with this if that person gave their body willingly to you. Knowing what will happen. Fine. Does he, she kind of start inviting him down. Does he have any money on him? That usually solves the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Does he really have any money? Oh man, this is so true. Yes. Yeah. I have up the uh, that hundred thirty gold. How much? Okay. One thirty. She can like okay. look at the pouch. That actually might be enough. Okay. So would you also be willing if we don't find someone who is willingly giving you your body? And we haven't decided on this yet. This is just my opinion. Would you be willing to wait for Lady Kazar to craft your body? Wait, yes, but I will hold my assistance until this moment. As long as withholding your assistance doesn't kill Zardos, I'm happy with it. Just to be clear, you need a human body, right? Humanoid body? One of our enemies that we're gonna encounter? No, 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 I'm just asking. You need the humanoid body, right? You don't, uh, we can't go into the woods and find you a squirrel. Oh my god, Sarlis. What's wrong with you? Girls are more important than humanoids. She looks at me, Laura, and at Leos. Is that a squirrel in its past life that you have awakened and polymorphed? Mm -hmm. Sometimes. <laughs> yes. In moments like these. 
I don't want Boy. a humanoid body. I want a human body. A human. I okay. have standards. Okay. So humanoid, female, hopefully young, hopefully pretty, hopefully muscular. <laughs> so as good as can be. I need a body. The rest I can figure out myself. Okay. And my um, second condition. Oh, sure. None of you shall partake of meat, fish, or bird while you are with my king. Sure. Not a I problem don't. for me. I mean, if if that if that sure if that is your condition. Uh, I'm happy to do it. Nice. Anything. Fuck. All right. One more condition: you undo your charm that you have in Trago. Hmm. We will make a promise all here to each other that we don't kill each other. I know. Un unless our rules dictate me to hunt you. And that would be when you start killing innocent people. Hmm. Without any explanation. Without any good reason. Will you... Will you kill everybody who kills an innocent? Depends on the circumstances. What if it was by accident? You know, you Thanks. never ended up suffering the consequences of that, but the old man you chucked into your chest creature. It was a hostage. Now, I will say this. That was my fault. I didn't anticipate Ralph was going to rip off his leg. I wanted him to hold him. What? So that was a misjudgment on my part. What are you talking about? You said the old man. Oh, wait. No. Wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was talking about You know, wait, wait, wait. when your pet has maimed or killed more than one person, that speaks a lot for you. <laughs> Listen, you, you do catch my drift, don't you? Oh, yes. Good. Then, can we agree to that? As long as you don't kill Zardos, or you start running around willingly killing innocent people. The Just only because... reason I will kill Zardos is if I need to do that. Because you are attacking me. Sure, Spell and we will not attack you unless you go completely apeshit crazy. May I ask a question? Fine. Will we still be able to help keep Zardos alive as long as you're with him? I know, noticed that healing magic didn't work to heal him or cure his wounds. He must become what he must become. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but... Among the lot of you, there's not a single one... ...who has obtained sufficient power while remaining human. Okay. Alright. So... Are you done? I am afraid he's starting to have PTSD. Zone of Truth is out. I look at Lady Kazar. 
Can we all live with this agreement? She shrugs. I didn't care to begin with. Okay. Can Zardos live with that agreement? Well, you should ask him about that. I'll see you when you have a body for me. That's kind of jolts. And you feel like getting rushed through the darkness and thrust into the light. And you go, oh, it's nice outside. Oh my god, my eyes. Yeah, that felt strange. Okay. Uh, Trago, can you uh, cast Zone of Truth again? Uh, can I cast time. with the upper? Yes, the, uh, yes, yes, of course. Spell? So, yeah, so I'll use a. Uh, I mean, oh, why yeah, wouldn't you be able? It's, that's, that's, that's the rules. Because uh, it doesn't have an. Uh, no, 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 no. Higher no. level spell slot. At higher level spell slot is if it has an additional effect. Any spell can be cast with a higher spell slot. Okay. It just sometimes doesn't do anything. So yeah, so I'll cast uh, with a third double spell. So. Alright. I started the timer. <laughs> I wait for Drago's signal. I fail, fail willingly. I fail. Sure. I am Spartacus. <laughs> Zardos? Well, have you heard that. everything? It's a little muffled, yeah. Does that sound agreeable to you? Do you even want to be king? Yeah, it seems that's always... Some form of that has always been in the plan. Alright. Wasn't, wasn't what I was looking forward to, but it seems like that's where we are. You can only run for something for so long. Alright. I'll make the best of it. Okay. Then... I would like to hear Trago's opinion on Charmed. If you that don't hear me in your mind. All right. Trago, you're no longer Charmed. I don't think I should do it. I mean, it doesn't really change much. Zardos has always been your best friend, right? <laughs> Trago? Uh, yeah, I mean, so many questions to ask. <laughs> I guess well, it's about the circumstance on how she's going to get a body, how she will rule, uh, as long as she doesn't impede on the freedom of other people without them agreeing upon it. Okay. If it's that, if it's killing or enslavement or taxes, I don't know. But uh, taxes. as long as they don't, as long as they, you know, agree to. Well, you, well, our kings also give us taxes, and we we have but no we agreed to really about them. Yeah. Do we? And if we How don't, we, we leave. We're free to leave the country. Yeah. Long story short. Vote for Blood Princess 2020 or whenever you are. Yeah. The Elections only taxes are. you pay is blood. Yeah. yeah. And they will never take everything. You know, like I'd vote for her for Russia. <laughs> <laughs> At yeah. least if I did, Same. I knew that there would be a future for my country. And even if I die, I'd be I'd do something with this. <laughs> oh my god. So, let's, hope, let's hope we see you next week again and the K KGB didn't, uh, doesn't knock on your door. So I hope we can all find a way to accommodate whatever everyone wants without hurting anyone else. Well, that's the thing, right? We, It's kind of on our terms how we get the body to her. We can either campaign for someone to give up their body well, Willingly, we could compensate helps. them. I mean, yeah. I mean, she did have a point with offering people a lot of money. That was her point before. That was why we were there at the hospital. And there might be people who are already gone. At least their mind is already gone. 
where the was... money would at least actually help their family. Yes. I mean, I don't pledge for playing into the greed of people, but... At least they get something to help their suffering. Loss of a family member. We have to deliver the body to her. Until then, she doesn't help. Until then, she doesn't meddle. That was the agreement. I think, honestly, everything sounds fine to me. Oh, and no meat, Zardos. Oh, yeah, no meat. He doesn't eat anyways, right? You can, you, what do you do? Do you? So just can it, he doesn't have to eat. It yeah. doesn't so taste no... like much anything. His okay. buds are basically dead. Mm. Oh, no, not quite. No meat in your presence. Uh, not quite. Well, yeah, while you're working together. Not in his presence, while you're working together. You can't go around the corner and start eating meat. That will break. I mean, ah. you can do that. You can do that. She can't stop you, but that will be technically a breach of agreement. A violation. Now, if you're done and you like go do your shit and Zados goes becomes a king somewhere on the other side of the continent, then you can do whatever you want. Oh, like, I don't I... know if you know, but out of character, I'm like vegetarian leaning towards vegan. Oh my god, this is disgusting. I'm not sure we can be friends anymore. I I like where this is going. My character is fictional, so I don't mind him eating uh, a vegetarian. <laughs> Honestly, if that's that's a little price to ask, it's probably better for the beings. I don't mind. Can we now finally get back on track with our shit? Hopefully. All right. Yep. Fantastic. So should we head back to the hospital? Uh, yeah, about the timetable. We have, like, what, three more days to get Melora buffed up and you buffed up? Uh, oh, we don't know exactly when... Uh, when uh, Just because yeah. the Mother of Dragon comes back, it doesn't necessarily mean that she's going to attack everything and everyone. Yeah, right? but we're on a, ti on a really tight yeah. timetable. Well... What is your family doing, Trego? What do you mean? I mean, we do have to take care of... We do have to help Melora find her way. I don't know. I suppose my mom is on her way to Fiwa. <laughs> yeah, so they... my grandmother is there. Yeah. Uh, both Tregos and Melora's parents should be oh, on their way. Oh, they're not from Nebo directly. Okay. Oh, yeah, so they are in Fival. I thought they not there could yet. do like, like uh, a hiring session for someone who's willing to give up their body. Do a casting. You want my one of my family to give up their body? No, to search for someone. I don't want to get them really involved in anything. Last time that happened, I had to move them back and forth from Fiwal to Nebo. To hey, go. mom, I needed to find a meat puppet for my friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lady Kazar, how long? Uh, so you said a couple of months it would take to uh, cr uh, create that body, right? Yes. Um, one second. About four months. And it would have to be one of your bodies, likely. Uh, so... If we are being helpful, most likely her. She points at Melora. No. No. I like the uniqueness and the rareness of this all right, one. Alright, 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 okay. <laughs> Give me how much money do you people have? A uh, paperclip, <laughs> bubblegum, and <laughs> I like that. I, I have I have nothing. Wait, that's... I check your bag of holding. Most of the gold is in there. Yeah, I should have like a couple of silver. <laughs> oh, um, apparently I have seven platinum. Yeah, okay. So... Where's the bag? Oh, there it is. 
I don't know how Nebo will feel about this. If I go around and asking people, hey, are you willing to give up the body of her gra grandma or something? I mean, well, just tell people to donate their body to science. Pretty much. Yeah. So the body we were looking at, unconscious for a long time, possibly not going to live much longer. Didn't get a chance to ask our family. <sighs> All right. How honest am I going to be about this? As honest as you can be. <laughs> okay. So you no, want as honest as I can be. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, imagine imagine that I imagine that I that I that I come to you and I'll be totally honest and I say, hey, I don't wanna be insincere, but I heard about the uh sad, sad circumstances your fill in blank nana aunt sister, brother, mother is in, and I would give you a thousand bucks if you give the body some. to me so I can put a vampire queen into that body. That might be a little too much information. Yeah. Although, hey, for a thousand bucks... <laughs> You could be the daughter of a queen. That sounds like a scam, doesn't it? Yes. I'm just saying that... Do, do you see my point? How ridiculous that would sound if I... Zardas, you hear think... in your head. Just... You're supposed to be a king. Say you're looking for a wife. You have the means to heal them. Well... They will know like, better if it's me after that. And they will be happy with money and the child married to successful men. So, or we could just say that we're reviving their, da their daughter or whatever and, you know. But that's yeah. the seed. I mean, sure, you are marrying her or whatnot, but that's not the daughter or whatever they lost just let's just say that her, with this transaction i hate this with this freaking trade they will help greatly the odds i think the world how about that i have a question <laughs> when when we when we get get a body to her will she change the body will she look completely different or will she still look somewhat the same as the human? As far as I know, she'd still look the same, which is why she was hoping for a young female. No, that would make it easier, but I can look however I want. Yeah. Okay, so she can change it if she wants, but... I mean, it would be easy to tell them, hey, we have a way to heal her. We would just need to take her body away, but... After that, she would be no. back. No, 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 because you're not healing her. Yeah, that's the lie part. That's where <laughs> yeah, I no, no lies. Yeah, fuck that. That's not happening. We're not setting this this whole thing without lying to people. What? No I way. Think, I think the lying part might... might oh, talk. sorry, sorry. Omitting, not lying, omitting truths. Yeah, that's fine. We're not going to tell them, look, the dragons are coming, we need this power, blah, 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 and all that. But you can't outright lie. Say we're healing her. You can visit her once in uh, every two months. No, because that's If that's I lying. say we're healing her body, I'm not lying. But it's deceitful. It's the truth. Yeah, but they, they will think that you're healing her Thus, the same person is inside. All right, then have fun finding someone. I'm handing over this task to you. Good luck. You know, you could like try both ways and see who goes succeeds first. I promise oh, you, sure you, I will find so many more people. 
so here, much. Here <laughs> <laughs> if you want like if it. you want to do it do it do i it. don't give a shit about lying to someone about this because honestly i think the truth will probably hurt them more you know i i'm kind of proud of you leos because when we spoke in the zone of truth with all the trust issues you had, you still decided to eventually trust her. Maybe Did you'll I see say one... that I trust her? Oh. I never said that I trust her. Well, the agreement implies it. The... Maybe one day you'll see the same as I see about truth okay. and lying. Okay, okay. Was that to say okay. here, I bet that it wouldn't be talking like that when I'm standing here. It's like they're forgetting okay. it. Yeah, this... maybe. Having an uh, agreement and trusting someone are, are two very, very different things. An agreement means that we that we agree to play by certain rules, and, and those rules, rules, those rules that we set up, can be interpreted. And there may come a time when those interpretations collide. I will honor my side of the deal, but that does not mean a single second that I trust someone that I don't know. I barely trust you. <laughs> barely. And, and not even 100%. There's still the just somewhere in the back of me. Hey, be careful. It's a huge cover. If you get a body, you can hang out and okay. talk. Uh, at this point, Kazar goes, well, it is good to know that I'm the only one each of you trusts 100%. Seems to, like, have this covered for now. Good luck. Thank you. Come to me when you are ready for the trip. Yeah. Take care. He squeezes your shoulder again, Leos, and goes to the house. Give her a smile. Right. I see that. You see nothing. <laughs> she just waggles her eyebrows. I don't smile even a bit. I just dead I stare. <laughs> Alright, going getting back to business. <laughs> yes. I oh, no, you, yeah, sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. Um please. Hey. I'm trying to think of something that we can do because I feel horrible lying to someone's family about saying that we're going to bring them back. And it's not them. I could only imagine how our families would feel if we did that. That's my reason why I would tell them, hey, I know this is a really, really, really horrible offer. But we can, if we... We could give you... She is not coming back. We could take the body for science. A lot of people would benefit from it. And you, we can make sure that your family is well taken care of. It's an honest offer, offer that they will get the money. They will get a lot of money for it. We can just... Give them a thousand gold or five thousand or whatever you want to measure that with. But if we bring in the truth, just the parts of it, no that one will funny. fucking believe it. And then we have a clear cut that their family member disappears from their life. They get they have they don't have to wait for the day where she dies. They can say their goodbyes. But it's up to you. If you wanna if you wanna take the straight path, please do. I encourage you to do it. I'm definitely not looking forward to making that offer to people because I will get smacked for sure at least once. Yeah, I do like the sound of that a little bit, yeah. yeah. But if you if you can find some middle ground where you that you think is agreeable to your moral standard and still sticks to the truth, please do. 
Honestly, please do. Well, would it be possible to maybe find somebody that has no family, has no connections to anybody? It might make them... They might feel more open to the idea. Maybe... I don't, I don't know. But what can, can we give a dying person? Mm. Then, then we actually... Oh! Actually, then we would have to tell them the truth. Hey, you're dying. You have no one. But you could become the body of a queen. <laughs> That's my fetish. I don't expect that it will succeed <laughs> convincing anyone, but hey, who knows? Who knows? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to find a middle ground somewhere in between. I know, I know. I, I, I don't want to sound discouraging. I honestly want you to... Because I honestly don't see it. I don't see this going on quickly and smoothly without us telling a big, fat, juicy lie. Is there a program for body donations in the hospitals? <laughs> uh, no, because uh, body transplantation has it's not become thing. a thing yet. Any advanced healing is usually clerical healing, religious healing. And I know a doctor we can talk to. <laughs> we also probably need to go to the legal authorities. Like, say, say, we probably need to go also through the legal channels, like uh, the authorities. No. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah no. have fun no. with that. I mean, if you're asking about le legality, no. It's. Never is trying to be civilized and like care about people's um, what they call liberties and rights and so on, but they aren't there yet. If a person agrees to sell that, it will work. Then it's fine. Yeah. yeah. I mean, okay. like Trek, you know that like you don't want to admit it, but you know that if you go into the slums. Yeah, we'll it will take out, you we'll five out. minutes to find a family. You can tell them the truth, and they will look at you like you're crazy. And then you're gonna say, But I will pay you a thousand gold. And they will put their daughters, living healthy daughters, in front of you and say, Take your pick. Mm -mm, mm -mm, no. And it's gonna take you five minutes to do that. Okay. Yeah, nope, that's not the. That's, I'm not a paladin of vengeance or something like that. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we'll have to. Well, look, we'll have to go and if, see. Oh my God, yes. I but we don't have much time. Start today. Yeah. Take, oh take, honestly, take a thousand gold. And try your best. Give it, give it an hour to think about what you want to say, and then. We should start uh, start moving. I know we normally don't consider this an option, but if our time is short, do we want to split up and take care of the issues that we need to take care of? No, we don't split up. No, 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 no. All right. No, only like if you need to go shopping, sure, but. I don't... You think I'm not gonna attack you while you're shopping? <laughs> <laughs> well... You wouldn't. It depends uh, on where you're going. <laughs> if... I, d I don't know what awaits you and... I'm being very selfish here. I don't want to let you run into that on your own. Because I probably couldn't forgive myself if something bad happened to you while you were doing that without me knowing that I could have been there and could have helped. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I have died too many times to... three four mm. Mm. <laughs> yes three 
I don't want this on my conscience. And honestly, I I think your chances are just so much better if we're there, all of us. I mean, I'm I'm a better self if you people are around. See what happened in Gaul when I was left alone, talking on my own? Shit got real very fast. Mm -hmm. We're the strongest if we're together. I think we should keep it that way. And imagine, I don't know what would have happened to Trego on that mountain if we hadn't been there, if you hadn't been there. I mean, maybe we would have failed and burned to death and we wouldn't find out what happened or later. Yeah. So okay. let's do this together. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. And she smiles. Awesome. Which of the mountains were we talking about? Uh, Sky Skyreach. Yeah. I think Trigger did very well on his own, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but they gave me Yeah. Shh. It was just to prove my point. It, it's easier when they were uh, uh, rooting for me. Yeah. yeah. Motivation. If that makes you feel better. Yes. Right. So, are you going all together with Strega leading the point to go purchase a ripe, ripe unhealthy yep. female human body? Well, Trago, yeah. do you want want me to be there? Do you want me to come with yes, you? Yes, it would be good if we all go together. <laughs> Where are we going to go look for this? He's... We're going to go to the hospital where you saw that body, and we will try to contact the family. Okay, yeah, start. There. And Drago, you try to figure out what middle ground you want to take, and if yeah. that doesn't work, we'll just switch. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Um, Drago, do you know what you want to say? No. <laughs> well. That sucks, because I need you to tell me what you say. Uh, uh, shit. Uh, okay, yeah, let me think it. about this. I'm gonna give you one minute, and then I'm coming back and ask you. Oh, this would be perfect to stop here and think about this for a week. <laughs> okay, that's all we're about to do. Like, I'm imagining like Trigo turning to the family, like, look, she's Switch not off the gonna machines. make it. Her lay on hands, and then she like wakes up. <laughs> oh shit! No. Well, I have, I have so many things that I can say that are so far away from the truth that would make that would convince them so fast. But that's the difficult thing with truth. It's always not as fancy and convincing. You could tell them that um that we would offer her body to an entity that is willing to help us fight a great evil. Yeah, those are the, like the lines I was thinking about. Like their sacrifice, their family's well, sacrifice will help. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you could, yeah, and that way, that way, despite her soul maybe not being in the life anymore, at least her body would find purpose in life once more. Mm -hmm. That sounds very familiar to a specific city in the south that was purchasing body for their flesh golem military line. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Alright, well, Dragon, I'm listening. Yeah, so, uh, along, it's gonna be like along the lines of, um, uh, considering the dire circumstance that this individual is in, uh, we are asking you if you could uh, help us uh, by giving the body uh, for various reasons, which will be like, you know, uh, helping us greatly in our cause, which is saving the world. <laughs> And as comp con con ah, how do you say? Compensation. As a compensation, yeah, compensation, we will we are willing to pay this amount of money. And uh, I will detail. I will say in de in detail that uh, the body will the, this uh, transformation or the thing that will happen. Uh, the soul will no longer be. Uh, the body will be changed. And I guess they, if they really, really want, I'll, I'll see by their reaction. They can be there if they want to see the process of it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Sure. How much gold for a sink, your friend? Twenty gold. Oh. Uh, we. How much did we say? A thousand? Five thousand? A thousand. How much do we have? We have a lot of in the, uh, a lot of money in the bank. How much is in a thousand in uh, platinum? Hundred. In like work days. Uh, depends on uh, the individual. Like somebody is killed. Uh, like for you, Trigger, thousand gold when you were a guard would have been um, a bit like ten months of wages. Ten months. But you were paid very well. For an orc who's working in the docks, that would have been like five years of wages. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so a thousand might, might be sound good. Oh boy, and you are throwing this offer both to the family and to the individual in question yeah if they're conscious i mean yeah um dragon make me a persuasion check at disadvantage disadvantage i thought this was yes. really convincing no hey you want to die <laughs> i give you money f uh, 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 give your family money that's uh, a. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So much to the surprise of Leos, who's standing <laughs> to the side and doing his best not to face palm. You succeed in your first try. Oh my god! It takes the rest of the day. To talk to the doctors and find the family and get a meeting with the family and explain everything to the family and go back to the hospital and talk with the family and the doctors because the person asked question is unconscious and as the doctors say they don't know if they ever gonna become conscious and basically if they don't they're gonna die but you succeed now, as for your offer to observe, thankfully for you, they don't want to. Okay. Wait, what? They don't want they the don't money? Want, they don't want to look at it. They don't want oh. to see it happen. Oh, oh I thought they... <laughs> okay. Yeah, good for them. I don't know, some people want to... Uh, like, I guess... <clears throat> if you would... Uh, compare it, I guess. It would be like watching them bury someone or watching them yeah. cremate someone. I don't know. But what if the process of like transferring her consciousness into that body of the woman is that Zardos jumps on her, claws into her face, and squeezes out the eyes? <laughs> Same. <laughs> I want to be there. <laughs> it's going to be a peaceful death. <laughs> 
Jay, is that a secret we have? That sounds so disgusting. I'm almost tempted to make it that way. <laughs> don't, don't do that. That's, no. All right. Right. So this actually worked. I am happy that we didn't have to lie for this to happen. Way to go. Good job, Fabian. All right. Uh, well, you have transferred the money, so you can put that away. But you basically got the written agreement of uh, the parents. Uh, although you're not quite sure they understand the full implications of the process. I seem more convinced that whatever you're gonna do to the body is gonna happen after the death. Uh, but you got it. You've got a body that you are as legal as it can be in these circumstances can take and do with it terrible things. Would you like to do that? Yes. Alright. Big question. Million dollar question. Thousand gold question. When would you like to actually do this? When? Yes. Or where? When? It's it's either I'm guessing now or like right before or right after we finish <clears throat> buffing up Aura and how the dragons are. How about we give them How about we ask the family Give them maybe a day? Or two. You or have three. to consider the fact that if that person dies, yeah, then while you're you, waiting, you then yeah. you basically gave away something gold. Yeah, yeah. So Which is not terrible, do. but well, in that case, yeah, we yeah. would say, well, unfortunately, this is a pressing matter. Immediately, yeah. And I mean, I mean, we of course want you to be able to say your goodbyes, but. But dragons are about. Uh, this is a very fickle matter, and <laughs> unfortunately, we have what matter? Fickle. <laughs> Don't you know the word? Yeah, I, I know, can, but it's uh, another kind of matter. Yeah, the one where you go to the bathroom with an e, not with an i. Ficky? What? No, fi. Uh... Cool. Fecal matter. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I mean, I didn't hear that. I heard the other one, fickle. But sure. Uh, Fecal matter. You know, if we make a game of trigger drinks, every time Dan makes an, in, an inappropriate joke. We'll get about an hour into the campaign before he's on the table. Drunk as hell. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Between me and Jesse, we'll be done in 10 minutes. Uh, all right. Uh, more accurately, uh, would you like to do it before the long rest or after the long rest? Before. No, before. Like, right after. So basically right now, because you finish all of this like in the evening. And you carry the body and you do the ritual. Now the question is, where would you like to do this? Uh, in a private room, the hospital. Private room or yes, inadvisable. Zarus, you can hand that. Well, not as a guest there, just cried by your comrade. The process will be of questionable morality. How, about... How long does? Be better, or something. How long will the process take? Yeah, how long we need? The night. Yeah, this overnight. That's how it is. Well, do you want Either. to ask Lady Kazar if we can do it at her place? I wouldn't be surprised if she said fuck no. Or just get a few rooms at the end somewhere. You can yeah. Is it is it like a noisy process? Does it require chanting? 
or something like that? Can I Anything that thoughts? would attract attention? Oh, fuck, I wish I... Is that a, you kind of like see your head almost unwillingly turn towards the body you just purchased? No. Okay, no. I'm just going to take some time, I guess. Okay. So we do it in the same tavern we don't like before? <laughs> you bastards! Sure. Uh, sure. I mean, I can cast prestigi prestidigitation if things become a mess. You can go okay. deck stones on the before you do that. We should what? You can go Dexter on the room before you do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that is to get a warning that you should get another container full of fresh soil. Okay. Uh, should yeah. We, should we maybe? Okay. 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 I'll go shopping for whatever we need. How? How about th this? We could also. I could. Turn into Kirin, we fly ourselves out of the city far, far away, somewhere in a forest where people don't disturb us, where someone opening a door they're not supposed to open can cause complications. Okay, yes, I guess we can just catch you outside of the road. Yeah, just go grab whatever we need now and go do this. Okay. Yeah, what happens there. if... I'm sorry, what happens if the body or if the person dies during the ceremony? Will that cause your lady friend to <laughs> be stuck in limbo or something? Technicalities. Let's uh, let's get with it. <laughs> get a response to this. You get a response. Oh, it will die. So long as it does that on schedule. Yeah, as long as it's during the ritual. Okay. Let's consider what happens when that happens. But for now, let's assume that everything will be successful. Let's. Uh, that is, you okay. need... Like, by your assessment, you need about 300 gold to purchase, like, the coffin and some candles and some ink and some uh, arcane uh, components, mm. basically, for this. Okay. Do you have that much money? I have 130. Uh, I guess we'd take that out of the bank as well, since we're here in Nibble. I'm pretty sure we have also a lot of cash on us. But yeah. I'll just take it off the gold in bank because we're yeah, yeah. rarely here to get it out of there. In the shop. Sir, how would you buy this coffin? Cash or card? Zalas. Card. <laughs> <laughs> I um... have my most strong weapon. My bard's master card. <laughs> I was to get a complaint in the process that in her memories such a ritual would take weeks of preparation and festivities across the whole city. The way you're doing it feels almost like a sacrilege. I don't think the city would celebrate this. Not yet. We can have a better coming out party for you later to make up for this. Are you being bombed? No, that's the fire fire, fire. right? Oh, okay. Yeah, fire, fire station around the corner. Right. Oh my god, fire station around the corner. <laughs> Poor man. All right. Um, so yeah, uh, let's say you go, you get all the shit you need. It's is rather bulky actually, like so if we can put all the small stuff into the coffin. So just the coffin that's bulky. 
Um, and Leos, you wanted to turn and take it in? Yeah, I will do that once we're outside of the city. I don't know how people yeah, that's a good idea. think about uh, Kieran's in the city. And I will... Yeah, they don't I will, feed. Um, they I, will, um, I will ask someone to ride with our... Shit. Uh, uh, with our guest uh, to hold her on my back. Right. So and the coffin. She, she can... And the coffin, yeah. So she can have a nice flight through the night on a Kirin. You can put her in the coffin and like use the coffin as a <laughs> <laughs> no a container. A... No, uh, to her, premature, let, right? Yeah, to premature. Let's yeah. have her have like a nice uh, night flight. I can show into death. you the world. Actually, I won't. You're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> I will fly into your death. All right. Uh, yeah. So you do that. And it does take you a while to fly out of the city because uh, you're on a Kirin and you're not flying too fast. You need to pay attention to the passenger on your body that isn't holding on and all the crap you're carrying. Um, and your speed is giving you like 12 miles per hour. How far do you want to go? Uh, is, I, is there that's a forest. If you want to look for like a grove or an orchard, that's gonna be a lot closer. Something that gives us like cover that is far off streets where we don't have to fear people running in. Uh what about the island south of Nebo? Oh, that's the military base. No. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, right there. <laughs> I mean, what are, what are they going to do, right? <laughs> Drake is like, I'm a captain. It's all right. It's legal sacrifice. Don't worry. Legal sacrifice. We have the proper documentation for this body, yes. Uh, all right, yeah, let, let's say I'm going to say, like, about two-hour flight will definitely get you far enough into the farmlands that, like, there won't be a forest, but there will be, like, small corps of trees. Cops? Cops of trees. Cop. Cops, I think, is a word. Crops? No, no, no. no. Uh, it's cups. Cops. Cups, yeah, like C O P S. Yeah, it's like a small group of trees. A grove, let's call it a grove. Um, in which. I mean, from above, it looks like all the other farmhouses are far enough away from it that most likely, unless you scream really, really loud, you're not gonna attract too much attention, and even if you do this, people most likely not gonna go check on people screaming in the night. <laughs> so you land between the trees, find like a sufficiently large place, you get slightly more grumbling in your head, Zardas, but uh, you start getting commands on what is necessary. And you start giving orders like what needs to be cleared out, uh, what needs to be placed where. You light up some torches for illumination. I'm pretty sure you have some torches in your equipment. Or like cast some magic, I don't know, for RLSB, be like a flashlight man. Uh, I have a... Um, I have Traga a, has a light country for you. I have a drift globe, which I yeah, can just yeah, activate yeah, and then it's yeah. on. You can do that and... Um, Uh, Zars, make me a um, Narcana check. With advantage. Alright. Um, do you have any leftover ink from your spellbook stuff? Yes. How much? Um, it's like <clears throat> two bottles. There are one, yeah, bottles and two bottles. And how much is that in yeah. gold? How much in what? In gold. Oh, that I don't remember. I have 130 gold unless it, that was used for the buying stuff. No, no, I mean how much ink you have in gold. I mean, ink for the purpose of scribing down spells. Oh. Uh, I don't have the... 
So there's no there's no cost on the, on it like that. And how do you calculate it? The cost of the spell itself for it's like what two hundred gold per level. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 But like you gotta have a supply equal to that amount of money, right? Yeah, hang on. Do you have charges written down? Like in increments of like 200 gold or something? Uh, no, I didn't write it on this. I don't know what it is. Probably need, probably need to have said I picked up some more then, just in case. As well. All right. In that case, let's say you waste another two hours. Actually, I guess since you're doing this quickly, uh, it's not gonna take two hours. Like an hour, let's say. Uh, Leos turns you into Windwalk, and you go make a trip to the city because you fucked up the ritual. You destroyed whatever you bought. Oh no. no. How much more do you want to try? You need at least 200 gold for the circle. Yeah. Do whatever we need, whatever it takes to make sure it works. Well, how much ink do you want to buy? So I need at least 200. That's all. D does more ink increase the chances? It gives him more attempts. Okay. <laughs> so Before he needs to fly back. Just buy three charges. Like 600 gold, I'll just take it off the the bank. Alright. So you do that trip. By now it's not the middle of the night, but you're getting close to that. And it's freaking cold, by the way. Well, by freaking cold, I mean like plus 5 or something. Fucking mosquitoes. Um, I'm not uploading here. <laughs> Give me another shot. Same crap, Arcana, advantage. <clears throat> Alright. There you go. There you go. On your second try, um, you managed to do it right. Like your first attempt was completely botched. Your second one, like there are a few parts in the circle which are so fine and the um, place where you're undertaking this ritual is not really made for undertaking accurate arcane rituals. There was kind of a reason why they used to have like a temple for that crap, where it was half prepared already. But she seems to be satisfied and says quietly in your head, well, worst case scenario, you'll need to get me another body. And then she tells you to place the body in the place. And advises you to take your armor off. Okay. And once you do that, she tells you to repeat after her. I will and start speaking incantations in language you don't understand at all. Oh wait, did you pick up ancient Nehikara? Right, yes. in that case you do understand, kinda understand them. It's still pretty complicated shit when you are um, not used to casting spells on that language. Uh, but basically yeah, she starts explaining to you an incantation in ancient Nehekaran and as she does that and as you chant it and it takes you a while to do that you see the candle lights turn from uh, normal light to blood red as the circle lights up and lines connect and the ink kind of flows and onto the body of the woman lying there until the circle is 
transported and transcribed directly onto her skin. And then you hear her say, I need you to share your blood with her. Okay. I will cut my hand and there's, is there any specific if there's no specific way to do that, then yeah, I'll just go with the cut on my hand or wrist unless she has a preferred way for me to do this. <sighs> Wonderful, you've cut yourself. Now she's all covered in blood. Well, that's what I'm saying. If she wasn't going to say anything else, then that's what I was going to do. Either that or, considering what this is supposed to be for, said share my blood with her, as in let her drink it. An injection would be better. Okay. You've tried it on the wolves. This time try to push instead of pulling. Okay. Yeah. I'll do that. Right. So you watch Zarda sneal over the body and hold it up with one hand and open up the neck and pierce his fangs into the neck. And you see a little bit blood show up, but instead of draining blood, doesn't seem like that's what he's doing. And then you stand up, and there's still like blood dripping out of the neck. Not very strongly. This lady doesn't have a powerful uh, heartbeat right now, oh, in general. And then she tells you, now hold me. Okay, take the sword. You feel her not taking control of you, but kind of guiding you as your arms raise, holding the sword blade down above the chest of this woman, and you continue chanting as you watch the ink from the body flow up onto the blade and up the blade onto the handle as a circle is transcribed onto the blade, and you watch the blade split in the middle as it separates, becoming almost like two fangs itself. And your, your blade poised directly above her heart. You hear a command, push, slowly. I do so. Be gentle. You push in. The skin splitting and meat moving aside as your blade pierces. You aiming between the ribs. Blood splatters. The woman's blood. As your blade reaches for the heart. And carefully you feel it reach the heart. And slice into it. And you watch your blade drained from red as through the canal in the middle the essence of thirst pours into the wound and into the heart of this woman blood pulls more and more covering her chest obscuring the wound until it pulls no more The circle fades. You stand above a dead body with your blade stuck in your chest. And that's where we're gonna end the session for